Yo, 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 it's the Knuckleheads, and we back, it's Tuesday, and it's the Knucklehead Comics, we got Cap in the building, we got Toe Tags in the building, what's going on, what's going on? Not much, man, just, you know, same old, same old, everyday crap. Word, and yo, we done finished the Dungeon Dragons one shot. We whooped Man. that ass. <laughs> we yeah, I'm, we're going to call that a fucking mini series. Word, the three P. What's going on, Ray? Ray's in the building. Yeah, man, we whooped that ass. We we took names. You know, there's no compromise in that motherfucker. But yeah, man, we're back. And they dropped some trailers to the you know, what's coming up with the Secret Invasion. And um, the final trailer to the Guardians of the Galaxy. And... I want to know how y'all think, or how you think, this is going to affect the future of the MCU moving forward. Man, when I read the when I read the question and the the title here, it struck me a little weird because we're supposed to be multiverse shit, multiverse saga. Guardians of the Galaxy looks like straightforward. The next chap, the last chapter, very personal story. Secret Evasion looks to be like not street level, but regular, normal, our universe personal fucking story for Nick Fury. The Marvels seems to be a very in our universe personal story between Miss Marvel and the two Captain Marvels. Like it. I don't know how this is going to affect the overall theme of the uh, Phase 5 and the Multiverse Saga because none of this seems to be part of it. This seems to just be well, like Black Panther. Like Black Panther was not a broader type movie. It was a honed in, very personal movie. And everybody was like, yo, this movie is fucking dope. These three projects seem to be exactly like that. And I don't know how it's going to affect the wider realm. The one thing I do know is Guardians of the Galaxy has a, what they call in wrestling, cheap heat. You know you know what that is? When a wrestler yeah. comes out and just says the name of the town just to get applause. Yeah. <laughs> Mick Foley loves to do that shit. Guardians of the Galaxy has cheap heat. It's the final one. James Gunn's last hurrah. Everybody's going to go see it just because it's to complete out the whole thing before he goes over and re-changes the hierarchy of DC. <laughs> Which, by the way, he started he started on pre-production for his Superman movie. Uh, Secret Evasions, if they play it correctly, Secret Evasions should be the thing that everybody's like, all right, the Disney shows are back on track because She-Hulk kind of derailed a little bit. But Secret Invasion should put everything back on track, hopefully. And then the Marvels, everybody's already hating that shit. It's the most disliked trailer that Marvel's ever put out. Because, you know, Lord forbid you just fucking make anything that doesn't have men in it. Yeah, right? But... Um, yeah, man. So <clears throat> you didn't answer the question, but I, <laughs> you just basically said this is its own thing. I honestly think that this is, this is setting shit up to introduce new characters for, you know, to continue, to continue on with the next phase and not have the old character. Like think about it. They, they're showing the super scroll in, in, um, secret invasion. And the Super Scroll has the powers of the Fantastic Four. We've seen Reed Richards in, in Multiverse of Madness. So what if some of these movies and some of these shows are independent because they're from other multiverses and we might get some what if shit where we got to get this version, this person from this multiverse to come help us fight gang? That, that all could be a possibility. It's also a possibility that there are Super Scrolls and then the one you're talking about is the Super Scroll. So one of them has the power of all of all the Fantastic Four, but there are other 
Super Scrolls. It's kind of like they, we got the X Men, but Wolverine's an X Men. Yeah, because it, it kind of like they're either trying to make more Super Scrolls, or they have Krees that they that they're getting some kind of shit from, or maybe they're making Inhumans. Who knows? Like that. That's the thing. That's why, you, like you were saying, I didn't really answer the question. I don't see a direct line, a direct path as how anything would connect or where it would drive the next story to. It, I mean, it just, it doesn't feel like, I said it before, they shouldn't have told us that this was the multiverse saga. Like, we didn't know this was the infinity saga until, like, maybe the last three or four fucking movies. Yeah, but maybe this isn't the multiverse saga we're watching. Maybe this is the the other saga. Like, what if they're doing this where it's like, we're going to tell both stories at the same time. So some of this has multiverse shit, and other other than, other ones has Secret Wars, because that's the, the one after this, right? Secret Secret Wars? Yeah. It, Secret Wars is the one after Kang Dynasty. So maybe they're telling both stories at the same time because aren't they going to happen relatively close to each other? Uh, it was supposed to come out in the same year, but I think they moved it to one year and then the next year come the other one. But so, if, if they're doing that, they got to do a better job at telling us and delineating Hey, but you know what the problem... You just said the problem was they told us that this shit, so maybe they just fucking doing it. Because, yo, in, in all honesty, the, the multiverse shit ain't hitting as hard as they wanted to. So you got to come with something. And long... Long... Uh, long form storytelling has always been the best for at least Marvel when you want to go 20 years with shit. So let's, let's get it. Like you bring back Dick Fury. You, you introduce the sword. You going in outer space shit, so this could connect to the Marvels with with the with the fucking scroll or the Kree at least, because maybe they're experimenting on the Kree. Maybe the Kree is the ones that's making the the super scroll, and that's why the the scroll is helping out um, Nick Fury. We never know. Like I honestly believe that this is a bait and hook fucking trailer. A bait and switch. Yeah, I think this is one of those like you think we're fighting the scroll, but it's really the Kree that's that's got the super scroll and they they sent them down here to you know to fuck around with us. I that can be that can very well be a possibility. They have to play it one hundred percent perfect to do that though. I mean, they can. They can, they can yeah. But <clears throat> and that's a that's a fucking Tom Brady spiral pass they gotta make. Yo, listen, man, they they've done it before, and when they shown us that they're not fucking around, they 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 hit the mark. When they when they get people when they bullshit us, and they bullshit the project, we get she hope. When they when they just throw something out there for the sake of fucking throwing shit out there, we get Ant Man. But when they really want something, we get fucking Avengers movies. And and not for nothing, this is Nick Fury. This He has the strongest story you can tell in the MCU right now. Because he's been here since day one. We don't know nothing about him, and he's dealing with everybody. So anything can happen with this man. Yeah, you're 100% right, man. That's the, that's the beauty and the curse. Is anything can happen... Which means it's one of those things like anything can happen, which means nothing can happen. Because <laughs> until we see it, none of our none of our assumptions are it's Schrodinger's cat. None of our things are right or wrong. They don't exist. Yeah. But it's but, too it's too ambiguous. At least for me. Hey, the, you know, you know what the crazy thing is? I also kind of get the vibe that Rhodey is going to probably be the next Fury. You think Rhodey? Because he's already dealing with the top head people. He's 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 telling Nick Fury, you're the most wanted man in the world. Like, 
this guy might be the guy that they give the, the, the man or two to him making the team and running shield or whatever, running whatever program he's running because he went from working with Tony Stark and being his military liaison to now being like a top fucking guy. Plus he's a, he's an Avenger. You never know. He might be the fucking, the captain of the next fucking crew that's running out. Shit, I would not mind if he was the next person in charge of the whatever next Avengers team because it's either it's either gonna be him, Sam, or Captain Marvel. No, I'm not talking about the next Avengers team. I'm talking about the next Shield, the next agency to take over. Like I know this girl has the the um the Thunderbolts and all oh, yeah, that shit. Yeah, Fontaine. she's you know yeah. yeah she has that. But I think like the face. Like how Shield was kind of like a face type shit, I think Rhodey might be that. Dude, that'd be an it. That's actually an interesting uh, thought there or take because Rhodey's never been put in that situation in the comics. So for him to now try to take over, that's something. That's something that's gonna be interesting to see, because I don't know if the. I don't know as right now if the character is strong enough. But the thing is, the actor is. Yeah, no, the actor is, of course. But we haven't seen... The writing hasn't caught up to the actor yet. Yeah, but like in this mo- in this TV show, it does Rhodey's wonders because he, cause he always has to play second fiddle to Iron Man. No matter what he does, he has to play second fiddle to Iron Man. Iron Man's no longer there. Now he's running by himself. And sometimes when you let go and you let people do shit by themselves, they rise and they 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 float with the tide. Sometimes they sink, but my man Don Cheeto ain't sinking. No, yeah. <laughs> he ain't sinking anytime soon. Shit, yeah, I'm Europe telling you that shit right now. They're doing the uh, Iron Wars Armor Wars movie now because it, it was a movie, then it was a Disney Plus show. Now it's back to being a movie, so we don't know what it's gonna play out with that. Yeah, shit. I mean, yo, there's so much shit going on. I know I'm a, I'm gonna speak for cabs and lay. I like the street level shit. <laughs> you know, we're getting more street level shit. And to be honest with you, the best way to tell a story is in the street, because that's when you get the most information. Because you got a lot of people that sits there and and says stuff. When you speak to Kang, it's his version of the story. When you speak in the streets, it's what's happening. You know, yeah. it's, it's not like. When we was watching the um, Falcon and Winter Soldier TV show, it wasn't just we're hearing the side from from the red uh, the 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 flag, flag, the flag smashers. We're hearing what's going on, and then both sides like we're like this is what's happening, and we got it like yo you you have the right message you're just sending it the wrong way yeah and we can't let you say this shit like this you know what I'm saying so it, that that's that's the best part about what's moving forward at least and even even though Guardians of the Galaxy is supposedly the end I think Galaxy, Gar- Guardians of the Galaxy is gonna do uh, this is the end of the Guardians but the start of something else Yeah, maybe we get Nova maybe we get somebody that's gonna come in and, and like take the place of the Guardians dude we can get uh, Warlock Adam Warlock leading the Guardians team by the end of this, Vance Archo, uh, Astro, my boy, major victory, a whole new team. Yeah. And I we can wonder, also, yeah. Sure. Now, as I say, we can also uncover, un, you know, uncover where that beacon from Shang-Chi is coming from. You know, or because, listen, man, we're in space. And what happens in space stays in space. But, they're everywhere. This isn't like, this isn't like um, Thor, where they went to space or wherever the fuck to talk to the gods, and then just went to the world to stop him. No, they're everywhere, so they can go and and get a beacon or find out some place that like I've never heard of uh, Quant- Quantum Monaco. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and everybody in the theater is like, oh, shit, it's a fucking Jing Fang Foom. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what they got to do. <laughs> you yeah. know? That's 100% I'm with you. 
but I just want to temper expectations. This might be the fucking statue in the ocean at the end of that beacon. It's going to be just like Eternals, where it's like, yeah. oh, we heard about it. Nobody in the MCU knows anything else except for the people yeah. in that room. Yeah, but you you know something, though? At this point, fuck all that bullshit. They fucked around so much, I have to sit here and put the expectations higher than ever before. Because if I if I can't get excited to watch these fucking movies, I'm I might not watch it. Like in all honesty, like I wanna see the George Foreman movie because I remember watching him come back and fighting for the title at fifty three years old or whatever how old he was. I wanna see these fucking movies and I want them to do good. I don't wanna sit there and go, Oh, maybe this is gonna happen. What the fuck is this? If because the more they do that, the more I'm gonna just go out there and just tell them. But like I'm already given high expectations and all the uh, possibilities for these motherfuckers to make shit crazy. Like I'm even making you go, yo, that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like that'd be dope. So the more they fuck up, the more I'm gonna go and give you a better fucking story. So that way, when somebody sees this shit going, yo, why the fuck we didn't think of this shit? You know why you didn't think of this shit? Because you're fucking stupid. That's why you didn't think of this shit. And if you did think of this shit, I said it first. And I saw your little fucking plot. You can't get no pass. Yo, you can't pull the wool over the eyes of a Gambini. <laughs> if you ever seen my cousin Vinny. You know, shit. But, shit, but- dude, I feel, I, I know what you're talking about, man. I'm more hyped to see uh, Evil Dead Rise, which I might actually go see over the weekend, than I am to see the Marvels that comes out, even though the trailer looked fun. We discussed a little bit the other day, yeah. last week. The trailer looked good. And it weirdly did. enough, my favorite part is is, is uh, Kamala Khan's reaction to the flirting, eating the people down the hall. Because that's exactly <laughs> what the fuck everybody would do. If they're like, oh, here's a cat. Oh, my God, this cat yeah. is fucking devoured. <laughs> I don't know why. My favorite part is knock, knock, knock. Um, is Kamala Khan here? Hello, it's me. <laughs> like, <laughs> like she just like she knew that Shield was coming. No, you know, you know, like she knew that that would, to me was funny. That and where's my daughter? Because <laughs> they just got Miss Marvel up in that motherfucker. Yo, or Captain Marvel just popped up in there. One of my one of my other favorite parts is when they when they're like, oh, our powers are tethered together. What are you doing? She's like, oh, I can show you. And they're like, no, no, no. When Captain Marvel comes back into the little kitchen and she gets up, it's like, what the fuck again? <laughs> <laughs> it worked. <laughs> that shows a little bit more personality, a little yeah. more liveliness. Yeah. And every single, I don't give a fuck what you think about MCU or all that stupid shit. Every single person, if they were tethered to somebody else, and that person kept switching them back and forth. Every single person would be like, I'm here again. I'm going to yeah. kill this motherfucker. <laughs> but you leave me alone. <laughs> Shit, people get annoyed when somebody asks them the same question twice. Now imagine getting transported every time you fucking ask a question. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shit. No, but, it, you know, and it, to be honest with you, like, I know Brie Lawson has this problem. Like, people have problems with her and all that. But it makes sense, her in Captain Marvel... To not, you know, the personality is not showing that well because she, one, she lost her memory. Two, she was trained as a fucking Kree soldier. None of the motherfuckers have any personality. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. she she was forced to be one of them. Then she finds out who she is. It takes a while for her to snap back into being a fucking smart ass human. You know, like you can only be so much. You know, when you're being controlled and shit. You know, like let her let her grow into the fucking character. Dude, sorry, we got a fucking movie from what the nineties for her, where like being a smart ass isn't like it was like that's what it was. But you mostly just made fun of people. But now, like now, we're in the times because think about it, we saw her crash on a planet she recognized but didn't know, and then she had to find out who the fuck she was. The next time we saw her, she's fighting Thanos. At what point does she have time to sit there and just go? So you're a raccoon, huh? You must have a lot of fleas. You know, like, yeah. where does she show her personality? <laughs> you know, Nebula doesn't <laughs> Nebula doesn't have that much personality, but because we see her so much, we got used to her being like that. And now it's like, all right, that's who that's how she is. So like give, give her a fucking break here. 
Yeah. Dude, you know how I feel about the Captain Marvel movie. I went to go see it twice in the yeah. theater and liked it both times. Yeah. I actually liked it also in um when I rewatched it. But I I, I I honestly think that the the um multiverse saga or when them trying they're trying to explain the multiverse, I think we're in a stage where it's like we're waiting until like we the movie comes out. Like we're giving you bits here and there, but we're actually gonna pull the trigger when we got the Kang Dynasty or you know, when we do the actual Avengers level threat movie. Because, you know, like all the stuff that we said about Doctor Strange and shit, like that would have been dope. But then to see that again in in uh, King Dynasty with him pulling multiverse shit out, it would have been like, yeah, but they just stole that from Doctor Strange. Like, don't get me wrong. There's shit they could have did in Doctor Strange. And then there's other shit they could have did in King Dynasty that would have been different. But it's still like, you know, maybe the ideas we have are the ones they have. It's just for that movie. <laughs> and they're like, we can't. <laughs> Like, we're giving you a taste of ice cream. We're just not letting you know we got 87 flavors here when you come to the ice cream festival. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's a, yeah, that, that is completely plausible of what they're actually doing. But I, I, think, I think the Marvel mystique, so I don't want to say superhero fatigue, but the Marvel mystique is wearing off. And I'm, what I'm talking about is like the days of just because it's a Marvel movie, everybody's going to go fucking see it and it's going to make fucking billions of dollars. Yeah. That shit is worn off. Everybody's at this point, 20 something, 30 something films in. Everybody's like, all right, we've seen a Marvel movie. We we get it. Yeah. No, it's true. I mean, I mean, it happens. Is... It happens with everything. James Bond went through that shit. Yeah, like well, the, Lord of the the Hobbit did nothing compared to what the Lord of the Rings did. Well, because this is the thing, though. I'm gonna you equated uh, something to wrestling earlier. I'm gonna equate this to wrestling or to like a a, ch- a championship team, right? So you have a wrestler that's been wrestling for thirty something years, and they realize this is the stuff that goes over. I don't need all this extra shit. We're at the stage where they go, oh, this is the stuff people like. We don't need the extra shit, but the people are still looking for them details. You know what I'm saying? It's like, we got the five scenes of death for, for, for Marvel, but we're looking for the details. We're looking for the selling. You know what I'm saying? And there's certain yeah. things that it's like, we're so used to seeing this. Now we're looking at the other shit. And the other shit is what's causing you to be like, yo, this movie isn't as good as it used to be. Because you had those little things in all the other movies. They had to be perfect for it to work. Now they're just resting on the loyals. It's like, oh yeah, like you know, but it's like, all right, Ant Man. It's an Ant Man movie. That was an Ant Man movie, but everything else was garbage. You think about it, because what did I, what was my review? It was an Ant Man movie. It wasn't a Kang movie. It wasn't a movie that opened up the the door for another fucking phase of Marvel. It was an Ant Man movie. What was Black Panther? It it wasn't. We can't say it was a Black Panther movie. That was a goodbye to Chadwick and a hello yeah. to fucking Namor. Like they did something. They're, those little details there, where they showed Ironheart, they showed the, that she made the vibranium shit. The vibraniums and under the sea and other parts of the world. Now we have another superpower that has vibranium. Not only does the U.S. but the world wants vibranium, and we got somebody that's building a team that's willing to kill everybody for vibranium. Like there's like this is now we just opened up the floodgates. Now we opened up the floodgates for everybody to. We got nukes. Everybody, this is the nuclear race again, but with vibranium. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, okay, we can't say this is a a, a Black Panther movie. This is this is the Marvel movie we all wanted because it had those details. We don't have those details with Kang. It was literally, wait. It's like, yo, but what about this? We'll get to that. Cool, but feed us first. Like, you know, we've been starving or something. Give us appetizers. Don't just fucking sit here and be like, oh, look, Kang. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. Oh, yo, Kang, this is, might be the badass Kang that everybody's worried about. You got beaten up by ants. What? Don't get Dude. me wrong. These are giant fucking ants, but still, it's like yeah, we, 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 we couldn't like, we got the Council of Kangs and everybody's excited. And in my, in my head, I'm like, okay. 
But for why? Who are they coming after? Are they going after that Kang that we're scared of? Or are they the Kangs we're supposed to be scared of? Who, like, oh, they're touching the multiverse. Okay, what's the problem? Kill the motherfucker that touched the multiverse. Why are we concerned about this Kang that you exiled? See, now that is why I've said all this is too ambiguous. Because that line about they're touching the multiverse was actually about the Marvel heroes and not that Kang specific. That Kang specific got banned. He got banned for other shit. But yeah. they, he, they were specifically referencing the heroes are starting to touch the multiverse. Which is... Well, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. It's like, those. give me those details so I know. It's like, all right, there's a fight coming. Like, I know who they're going after. Like, don't don't put the hand out of the ocean and then expect me to go, well, we'll get to that later. No. Yeah. <laughs> like, if, if, if a fucking continent raised out of the ocean yesterday, uh, tomorrow... I'm not going to go, oh, shit, there's a continent on the ocean. Somebody, somebody's, you know, go over there and figure it out. <laughs> we had a fucking, uh, what was it, a 17.8 fucking earthquake. The Lehman Tower piece is straight now. That's all right. Forget about the big ass hand and head falling out the ocean. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's normal now. People disappeared. No, it doesn't matter. You disappeared? And now we got a giant, a planet-sized head in our ocean. That's a problem. That's a problem. You know what I'm saying? Like, like in all honesty, it's like when they turn around and said COVID hit that. And then there's like, oh, well, now smallpox or this or or they're invading Russia or Ukraine. No, it's a problem. We're not used to this. That's a problem. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I think I think one of the missteps was one not not tying in the eternal shit sooner. Cause I, I've been I've been playing that trumpet that the Eternals was made for movies five years from now. <laughs> yeah. And yo, and, wasn't wasn't that movie like five years ago? So we still ain't get that shit. Yeah. And two, <laughs> I think they missed an opportunity. They, we could have still done the multiverse saga in phase five. I think phase four should have been the blip. Yeah. We should have we should have been finding out what the fuck happened in those five years and what and what life is like for the people who were gone for two seconds. We yeah. got a little bit of that with, with uh Yolana or Yolova. The new Black Widow. We got a little bit of that with Sam. But there's still so many questions. There's still so much mystery surrounding it. Yeah. And it's still, every time somebody brings it up, it's still the most interesting shit to talk about. Yeah. And you, yo, for us, it just happened. <laughs> yeah. And yo, not for nothing. Imagine, now, so the Eternals happened after the blip. Because it's a five years ago with yeah. the blah, blah, blah. Now, now the Eternals... For the lack of knowing the the god's name, Mercutio grabbed all the Eternals and said, "I'm going to judge y'all motherfuckers to make sure if you did the right thing, we'll spare you. If not, we'll come back destroying you." Now imagine this: they're there, and now the God Killer is out there killing gods, and let's say maybe he killed an Eternal with that fucking sword, and maybe you know Thor goes after. Zeus and goes, yo, I need your help because we got to get this motherfucker. And maybe one of the Eternals that's looking into the fucking Atlantis, looking into that place where all the gods are, goes, yo, Thor. He goes, it's something. Go kill this guy. And we may spare you. That, you know, that might weigh a decision to spare your planet. Something that ties it in. Yeah. Urasham is the name, by the way. Yeah, there you go. Urasham, he's a sham. We're all a sham. But you know what I'm saying? Like like something. Because I'm I'm not gonna lie. I, I see the Eternals and I see the 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 the, the Celestials. And then I see Thor, I see gods, and I see Celestials. Come on, come on. Come on. Like sup can't, you can't. Hello. Give me something here, people. 
Give me something here. Like, if we saw raccoons in space, I would assume that they're part of, uh, you know, Rocket Raccoon's people. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Somebody's walking around talking about I am Groot. That motherfucker's a Groot. <laughs> you know? You know, somebody. If the baby gets snapped, does the baby go back in the stomach? You know something? You got to talk about the, the... Those are Republicans right there. <laughs> <laughs> At what point does that baby get snapped? <laughs> right? Damn, and then what happens to the dust inside the mom? Or what if the mom just gets snapped and the baby's still here? All right. Those are legitimate questions. But now, you also got to remember, Thanos was not, not that ruthless. And he, you know, with all the whole shit, he was in control. They said it was random, but he was in control. No, yeah, yeah. He kept Tony alive. He kept Cap alive. He, I think that there would have been provisions on that. All right. But what? All right. So let's say the, a pregnant woman got snapped, her and her baby. She comes back. So she's been technically been in labor for five years? No. Because remember, we, like I just said with the, the new Black Widow, for her, it was five. It was not even five seconds. She was standing in the bathroom. It was blue, and then she blinked, and it was green. So for the person who was snapped, no time had passed. For the people who weren't, we're the ones who experienced time. To be young again. Shit. But yeah, I mean, you see how we we already got shit going. But that Secret Wars, a Secret Invasion, do you think that's the end of Nick Fury? I'm going to have to say no. Well, you know what? I know we've seen him in the Marvels, but when? No, because this- that, be, that could be Thelos. Yeah. That could just be Thalos playing him like he did in uh, Far From Home. So you, that's a good question. That's a good question because I don't know how much longer Sam Jackson can play Nick Fury. Not if he wants to play. How much longer can he play? Because he's already in his 70s, right? I think so. Hold up. Get the fuck out of here. It's Show Kang. There you go. He showed and snapped his way out of here. The hell was that? <laughs> <laughs> that was Show. <laughs> he came and gone. He was the, the hand in the fucking ocean. Yeah, with that appearance, that makes him the longest reigning uh, <laughs> occupant on the comic book. Podcast. <laughs> Word, but he, shit, he man. has more screen time than anybody else on this. <laughs> Word, but yeah, I mean, I, is he gonna come back on when he gets a better connection? He might. We never know. He's at work, so he might. Uh, he might come back, but yeah. So, like I was saying, I think. They're saying this is the last run for Nick Fury. But then he's going to... This might be the last run for him in on Earth. Because what if this is before the Marvels? So I think originally it was supposed to be. Because I know the Marvels got pushed back. I got to see when the original release date for the Marvels was. Because wasn't it supposed to be um, this year, November? So the original release date was July 8th. And I think uh, Secret Invasions is in... June 21st. So it it still would have been before. So maybe he uses this to create S.W.O.R.D. Well, S.W.O.R.D. already exists. 
Sword was the the organization in Wanda Vision that was that made the White Vision and was going after Wanda. Mm. Saber, I, I read a, an interesting thing where somebody was saying that Saber might be the a rebranding of Sword because Sword fucked up so bad in Westview with Wanda, so they changed their name. Another two things that I heard was one that sword, I mean saber could just be another another fucking uh agency where they have shield deals with the on the ground street level real world shit. Sword deals with the magic and mystical side of shit with Wanda and Doctor Strange and all that shit. And then Saber deals with the extraterrestrials in space. Shit, so we hit everything on all fronts. Okay. That another, makes sense. Yeah, another thing that we that was floated around is that Saber just might be the name of that base and not a fucking whole thing. I think so, because it looked like a location. Saber was a location. Yeah. Because, I mean, what is Saber? Saber is a sword. Yeah. That's true. It's a part of a sword, so it could be, you know. Now, with the Marvels, there isn't much there to give us, like, in the, the trailer for future shit. But do we see Fing Fang Foom or that beacon being... Answered, like what that beacon's coming from. Okay, the beacon. We talked about it before. That would, that would be cool. The as we were discussing right, so, before, I don't think the beacon will be discussed. Even though Captain Marvel does know about it, because she was in the room. Yeah, maybe she's so, she's looking for the beacon. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give it I'm gonna give it a realistic 15% chance that they might say something about that beacon. Cause I honestly think because the, the director, uh Da Costa, she also wrote this movie. And I think she wrote it a little I'm making an assumption. So if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But I think she might have done it a little bit like, hey, this is my movie, my story to tell. And not really tied too much into other shit. Yeah. But I'm going to give a 35% chance because we're in space and it's weird kooky shit happening. I'm going to give a 35% chance that Fing Fang Foom shows up. Because he's a space alien that kind of looks like a dragon. This seems to be... This or Guardians 3 would have been the place to fucking put him. Yeah, and and yo, listen. I know a lot of people speculated that the rings from Shang Chi have the same power as the gauntlet from Miss Marvel, and if those powers are connected to each other, then wouldn't Shang Chi have something to do with this? Maybe he's not connected with them, but maybe he's connected with the Feng Feng Foom or another power that they. Yeah. It would stand to reason unless they unless they now make they give us the definitive distinction. Like, oh no, what Shang Chi does is different. It what's that thing from uh the interview? Same, same, but different. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um do we see all right, so Adam Warlock is the guy in Guardians of the Galaxy. Do we see Nova or someone else being introduced in this? I it's hard to tell because I James Gunn has notoriously said that he's not a Jesus Christ again. Yeah. yeah, I'm not the one hitting that shit. I don't know who's hitting it. Jesus Christ. You made my phone my function, bro. What you did? I pray. Talk- fucking noise mess my fucking internet up. 
<laughs> I took I took him off. The... What's going on, show? I ain't mean to interrupt. I saw y'all was here by yourself, so I'm like, I could make a little noise. Hey man, we're talking we're talking about secret invasion. We're talking about uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy, and we're talking about Miss Marvels. Well, the Marvels movies. These are all trailers we saw. We're speculating, so it be it be good to have you here to ask questions about the shit we're talking about. Because now we got the outside consortium out here. Everybody that's listening going, who the fuck is Fang Fung Fung? <laughs> and we can answer those questions. Of course. I know who Fang Fung Fing is. Come on, dog. Yeah. It's the yeah. dragon. Okay. There you go. Here's, here's a question. In which Marvel movie did they show an image of Fing Fang Fung? Uh, Shang-Chi? Nope. You would have thought, but no. It was it Iron Man 3? Iron Man 1. 1. It was on one of the billboards as he was driving down. It's like one of the little Easter eggs in the back. See? Now, how That's do you put crazy. an Easter egg for Fing Fang Foom and not put him in the fucking Zoom Zoom? How you put an Easter egg for somebody we don't know? Who mans is this? Word. <laughs> it's my dragon in 15 years. He gonna come out. <laughs> well, now it's 25 years. <laughs> So I was asking Krills, uh, Krills, I was asking Cap before you came if we're going to get somebody to be introduced in this movie for the Marvels. Like maybe Nova, oh, you, you know, Guardians. Blue. No, no, no. We said Adam Adam Warlock for Guardians, but for the Miss Marvels, or the Marvels, we are be getting a Blue Marvel, we're getting a Nova, Fire in the Sky Theory, and what you think from what they're saying and how the story goes. Yeah. The... The pie in the sky, and the one who makes the most sense is Blue Marvel. He's a Marvel. I mean, the fucking name of the movie is The Marvels. He fucking fits. Yep. But I've heard no, I've heard no rumors about casting or inklings in it. Or there's been absolutely zero. So if he shows up, that's probably the best kept secret Marvel has ever fucking had. Yo, they got to start keeping some kind of secrets. Listen, man, if they can keep a fucking celestial head and, and hand coming out the ocean, a fucking secret to the planet, they can keep Blue Marvel a fucking secret. Look at Show's face. He knows. <laughs> My man Show's like, yo, not for nothing. These motherfuckers ain't telling shit about that. <laughs> you know, shit. He just mouthed the word facts. You see? You yeah. You are the facts master because I don't even got to say it. You know it's coming out. My yes. Mouth. You can read it. Word. <laughs> you always hear even when you're not here. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yo, uh, uh, I don't know if it's my turn speaking out of turn, but I'm going to learn from what I've learned before. Well, the last couple of movies with the MCU, because I really feel like <laughs> like the MCU is turning into the WWE. Yeah, you're guessing something is coming out, and then you get brosive. So I am gonna say that the MCU is not gonna it's not gonna bring anybody out. Y'all gonna be so upset like they usually are. We expect the blue fire, his cousins, his <laughs> brothers, and we ain't get nothing. <laughs> we you got know, a new movie. <laughs> you know what? You know what I was saying before you got here. I don't know if you was listening to us. I was saying no, no. I'm tired of this whole. Well, let's wait and see, shit. Because this whole let's wait and see, and then we come back it's like, yo, you could have just gave the movie to me, and we would make something better. So now I'm throwing out all of my pie in the sky theories. I'm throwing out every fucking theory I think is gonna happen from what I see. So that way, if they don't do it. Y'all be like, yo, this nigga Toe had something better than this shit and make more sense. And these people would have seen this and be like, yo, how come we ain't do this? It's because you're stupid. And, or if they did do it, then you be like, yo, my man Toe knew because you don't pull the wool over the eyes of a Gambini. You know what I'm saying? Shit. That's it. There's the Fangul and shit over here. <laughs> That's what the show's saying. <laughs> But yeah. That's crazy. It is what I said. <laughs> <laughs> you, you 
talk you even talk show without talking. That's crazy. Yeah. This is the most antagonistic fucking podcast ever. Yo, but listen, man, it got to the point where it's like somebody got to do it. Either it's going to happen on this fucking podcast that we're going to have the 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 gen what what is this phase 6? 5. When phase 5 is going to happen the way we want it on screen or in this fucking podcast. <laughs> Fuck all the bullshit. You want a real phase 5? Come to us. Come to the fucking Knucklehead Network and we'll give you the real phase five. You want to watch bullshit? Go to the movie theaters and then come back to us and we'll fix the shit for you. Shit. Because we don't play the, We don't play this shit here. One thing I take pride in, we don't kiss nobody ass. Not one ass is kissed. If you fucked up, we tell you and then we figure out a way to fix it. We're not going to say, well, it's a movie, so we got to like it. No. Yeah. There's none of that here. None of that here ever, anywhere. We don't do that blind loyalty shit. We're not getting paid by Marvel. We're doing this shit for free, pretty much. And we're paying to watch the shit. So we got double the fucking anger. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're paying to do this. Yeah, we're paying to be disappointed by you. Shit. <laughs> that's, like, that's like paying for a woman of the night just so you can sit down and... Okay. Yeah, <laughs> like you pay you paid for a fucking five star fucking motel a hotel and you come back with bed bugs like what the fuck is this? <laughs> I already stole the shampoo. I don't need no bed bugs. Hey, I'm I good on that end. Pets. Yeah, shit, motherfucker. This is what the world's turning to, brother. You gotta yeah, pay. Man. You gotta order your own food now in the kiosk. So you basically working for McDonald's. So you good. Well, I'm yo, not for nothing. I can't wait until the machines make my food neither. That way they stop fucking forgetting shit. <laughs> <laughs> fucking I don't know. Yo, let me get two big chickens and a medium fry. He goes a fry. What happened to the rest of my order? Hello. <laughs> Why you on the red? fry? <laughs> Why you on the red? Tell me about the ice cream cone. <laughs> what the what? Oh, wait, which one? The last one you were telling me. Oh, the huge... <laughs> yo, show after on Wednesday, I go to um to McDonald's, right? I get I get food because I didn't eat dinner, and my yo my throat was sore as shit. So I like yo, let me get a vanilla ice cream cone. My man came out with a cone this fucking big, bro. Like he, I said, yo, I wanted an ice cream cone. I didn't want the entire fucking ice cream machine. machine. Yeah. I was like, yo, is this why you motherfuckers are out of ice cream? You gave me three gallons of fucking vanilla ice cream on a cone. Like, I would have been, give me Mr. Softy level ice cream. Don't get, like, nigga, I'm driving. What? 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 <laughs> I'm like, yo, it looks like I'm sucking on a fucking baseball bat when I'm driving past people. Like, yo, I'm like, come on, man. I can't make left turns. I can't make left turns. I, this shit is fucking, like, I, this is my ice cream. Like, what the fuck? Is... <laughs> like, shit. Oh, man. You see? That's 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 bronze people for you. <laughs> if the machine is fucked up, y'all complaining. If they give you too much ice cream, y'all complaining. If it's <laughs> if it's enough ice cream, this motherfucker didn't put enough ice cream in my cup. Yo, Yo dude, bronx. at 1.30 in the morning, you want to eat a fucking gallon <laughs> and a half ice cream? <laughs> you should have saved some. <laughs> Where? Save some for tomorrow. Where? Put this in the freezer. Yo, I yo, I was afraid to be like, yo, let me get vanilla ice cream in a cup. My man would have came with four cups. Here you go. Hey, you know, <laughs> it'd have been a fucking super sized cup full of ice cream. Like, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Shit, man. he gave me a year supply of ice cream just for you. Hey, for a dollar, <laughs> no complaint. Put that shit in the freezer. Shit. Put it in the little in the fucking ice molds. Yeah. Put them in there and save it. Come on, we, I'm from the projects. I would have made something of it. Oh no, I ate that motherfucker. I ain't wasting that <laughs> shit. <man. laughs> you you yeah, I'ma eat I ain't it. Throwing that out. I, you know, not for nothing. I surprised. Like, hey, I was, I was appreciative, but it's like, damn, nigga, read the room. Hey, shit, bro. Word. My man, yo, 
My man said, oh, you want vanilla ice cream? All right, cool. I pulled up to pay for this shit. He's like, oh, this nigga fat. Get him all the ice cream. <laughs> Get him all the ice cream. He ain't going to be satisfied. We saw your tweet. <laughs> shit. <laughs> Motherfuckers. You can't Maybe give me a McChicken. My phone, yeah, you Damn. can't give me a McChicken, but you can give me 20 pounds of fucking vanilla ice cream. Motherfuckers. <laughs> Shit. Yo, dude, I guess, yo, dude, I don't know if you heard the story, but there was one, one time we came home late at night. I'm like, yo, I'm starving. Let me get two McChickens, a large fry, and a Coke. And then let me get, uh, what was it, the two two cheeseburgers, uh, the, the, let me, the two cheeseburgers, another large fry, and the water. Cap. I open up the, the bag. It goes one chick. It goes one cheeseburger, two cheeseburger, a large fry, another large fry, and one McChicken. I'm like, what happened here? Where's my? I asked for two. I look at the receipt. There's two there. And, and I, yo, dude, I spazzed out. And the thing is, the large fry is halfway filled. It's halfway filled. So I'm like, I'm looking. I'm like, I'm like, oh. <laughs> you want your fucking fries? I, yo, you gave dude, me your medium. Yo, dude, I grabbed the fries and I started squeezing. I started squeezing. I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Made it back into a potato. <laughs> oh, like, yeah. Man. I want the fucking fries. I want it. I want to have food. I started squeezing the fucking McChicken. I was like, yeah, I only wanted one. I ordered two, but I only wanted one. Yeah. Yo, dude, My I man was. made a shake. Yo, <laughs> yo, bro, I'm not gonna lie. That was the day that if we was eating there, or if I would have looked in the bag before we left, I would have jumped through that fucking window, bro. That was the day I would have jumped through the window, like, you're fucking. I'm saying, you motherfucker. That would have been you in the videos. Oh, shit. Yeah. Throwing drinks inside the window. <laughs> yeah. It would have been in the Bronx today. A McDonald's, McDonald's was burnt down because they couldn't get this motherfucker make chicken. We got videos. You see Toad throwing shit. Don't click. <laughs> so, damn, Ray. See, Ray comes in his certain problems. Toad found oh, the one McDonald's shit. that had a working machine and still complained. Fuck you, man. <laughs> <laughs> shit. That's what I was saying, man. He complained if it was broken. If it's not, it's guy. Yeah, it's yeah. Bronx. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. I'll give you a fucking three foot tower of fucking vanilla ice cream. You drop that shit on your shirt. You got no more ice cream. <laughs> what would have happened if he would have set the machinist down? Then we would have been talking about how upset you was. The machine yeah, I'd have working. been like, you motherfucker. Lying Word. ass bitch. Let me go back there and check. <laughs> Shit, no, nah, but yo, I'm talking. It, it would, yo, I swear to God, I was in my head. I was like, "Fuck, bro, if this shit lands on my shirt, I'm, I'm gonna be pissed off. If this shit lands on my fucking door, the door panel, I'm gonna be pissed off. This shit's probably gonna fly out the window." <laughs> yo, I can picture this argument of you in the front, you <laughs> motherfuckers. I'm here because you dirty my shirt. I dirty your shirt. You gave me too much fucking ice cream. Like, yo, bro, I asked for the vanilla on the cone. This is a black shirt. It's completely white now. It's white. And I'm still dripping on the fucking floor. And I got ice cream on my cone. Where's your manager? <laughs> Give me another ice cream and another shirt. <laughs> Motherfucker. A decent side ice cream. No, Red give me the left. same one. I'm going to eat it here. <laughs> In front of your fucking face. <laughs> you fucking bitch. Oh, <clears throat> now heat up my fries again. Please. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, man. Uh, but that day that they missed my McChicken, I, I made mashed fucking potatoes with them yo. fucking fries. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that, yo, Joe, you should have seen him live. The look on oh. his face as he he was trying to squeeze diamonds out of those <laughs> fucking <truck. laughs> Bro, I've seen that face be plenty of times before. He's he's <laughs> shaking the mouse. 
Like I've seen him do it to the mouse. He'll click it. He'll, he'll click it on the table as he's slamming it. Oh, yo, he, I just I destroyed one of those mouses already at work. I did the little back, 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 back. Yep. Wow! Yeah, I just mashing them with his, with his rings, bro. Smither, I had to take a mouse from some other department, like a one of those floors that were closed and moving. I was like, "Give me this mouse, I need it." What happened to your old mouse? You don't want to know. The, the cat got it. <laughs> oh man! Listen, yeah. I've seen you restrain yourself from punching the monitor, so. I could only imagine. Oh, I decked my fucking iPad the other day, bro. And that belongs to you. So imagine. <laughs> that belongs. You got to buy another one. And you know it. You was like, it's okay. I'll buy another one. <laughs> At this point, it's like you're not working. Yeah, I'll <laughs> The it. money's been wasted already. I needed a new one anyway. Word. <sighs> there goes a question for you, Ray. Tomorrow when you uh, interview Darius Carter... You ask him about that damn ice cream. You ask him what happens if McDonald's gives him too much ice cream while he's driving like a three foot fucking tea ice cream. How's he gonna feel about that shit? That's right. And who the fuck gave you permission to interview DC? Word. Damn, tell, tell him, show. How dare you? <clears throat> Is he even gonna talk? Is he gonna be like MJF? Get that mic on my face. I've never heard him speak. That's crazy. Like, I've never seen a DC interview. Congratulations, man. You got to, man, you got to give us the secret. Word. See, now now you want to start, see, Ray's starting problems. Wait, mm-hmm. so I got it. It was Jared Diaz in the back. He messed with your coat. No, it wasn't Jared Diaz. <clears throat> Jared Diaz stole my motherfucking McChicken that one time I had mashed potato fries. He and stole my, my birthday. Fucking, yeah, my birthday, my McChicken, my internet. Because it, it, it's coincidence how my internet goes out twice when Jared Diaz is on the show. The Arizona Ice Tea, pretty sure there's a couple women that were interested in me that he fucking detained. That one I can believe. <laughs> Shit. He stole my hair? Nah, because he don't got hair himself. <laughs> Jared Diaz? Oh, isn't he bald? Darius Carter's bald, not Derek Diaz. Jared Diaz. My bad. <clears throat> Show the even stole our truth. He even stole <laughs> Show's memory of who the fuck he was. <laughs> Listen, I'm supposed to be in this match. <laughs> Shit. But yeah, Show, what do you think about uh, the future of the MCU? It, 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 it's looking bleak. Because it's like I told you, they, they they turn it into WWE. They need to do something to step it up and actually please you guys. Well, I think it's hard to please all of us. They gotta please you, comic guys. They gotta please us, movie guys that really just want to see great movies and bring it all together in one. But they have done it before because I've heard you guys actually be happy and then me be like, it's a great movie at the same time. Yeah, I mean, in all actuality, it's not that hard because all they got to do is make us happy and fuck everyone else. <laughs> well, we read the magazine. Yeah, I don't the give comics. a shit if... Yeah, I don't give a shit if these people don't like the Marvels already because they're women. Fuck them. Okay. Oh. Buy the movie three times, then. You really want to You wanna stick it to Marvel? Watch the movie four times. Pay full price for it, cocksuckers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just make a movie that's... That's good. Like it's undeniable, but no matter how much people want to talk shit, if the shit's good, the shit's good. Fuck all that bullshit, man. I agree with you a thousand percent, bro. Because we, I think it's easy. Just make the movie for you guys, and we're gonna like it anyway. Because I don't know the story. Well, I don't know that Thanos got rings. Just make it happen. Yeah. Just do what you gotta do. I don't. Know, I don't know if that's gonna work. We have a recent example of it not working. The Dungeons and Dragons movie was made by people who play for people who play. And although people who didn't play liked it, it didn't make that much money. Well, that's because people don't know. 
I honestly, I honestly think it's because the whole fucking uh, open license scandal that happened months before. It could be. But wait until that shit comes out on <clears throat> on Amazon or uh, Disney Plus or Netflix or some shit. That's probably gonna be one of the most watched movies. But it's gonna be a Paramount service. Plus. Oh fuck that! Oh, that. these motherfuckers! Oh no! We suck again! <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking too. Oh no, I don't got that shit. <laughs> Word, you fucked up. You're just making Word. the wrong moves left and right. Yo, isn't it funny how they told us to cut the cord and the place that everything we wanted to see was on? One thing we needed. Yep. Get rid of that. And pick up 15 different fucking things. Yep. Did you know what it's looking like? <laughs> cable. Yeah. Because what was cable? You could get the basic shit, which is basically like Hulu TV. And then you can add uh, shit on, like HBO, Stars, Cinemax, fucking Paramount, Showtime, Showtime ESPN, the sports package, sports package, the fucking kids package. With Gartu- we already had all these streaming devices just on the cable. Yeah, that's how I feel, bro. We already had it, but I'm, nope. I'm, I'm currently trying to get rid of cable, and that's like the, the option. The other option is the thing. Yeah. It, All right, I can get rid of cable, but I got to pay $10 for each single shit, which is going to equal 200 You want to pay $300 for cable or $300 for streaming services? Word. <laughs> and and all of them, you got to remember password. You got to remember all this other shit. Word. At least I get a cable box with cable. I'm not getting a cable box with Hulu. A DVR. Jeez. Yeah, these motherfuckers. Yo, it's like uh, the Romans with the fucking Catholic Church. When they they were like, oh, our old ways of praying to uh, Venus and Mars and Mercury and all them shits is over. We're now switching over to Catholicism where we're going to pray to different saints. About shit, like they just changed yeah. the name and called it new. The same thing. Yeah, man, <clears throat> it's all bullshit. Oh, no. <laughs> you want cable what? or cable online? Word. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. Damn, can we go back to when we had the illegal cable with the with the button? What happened, brother? That's a that's the Amazon Fire Stick, but then that's just that shit is what it's only good for like a month before they do the update. Then you gotta get another fucking weird scientist to fucking you know crack your shit again, and then you got that one guy in the background with the gun to his eye, the fucking with my timetable and shit. Catholicism is prayer for those that are underage. I'm not even going to comment on that one. I'm not even fucking religious. Word. Hey, man. No, no further comments. <laughs> <laughs> you went OJ on you. No, no more questions. Hey, word. <laughs> he walked away from the bike. Why would you play games with me? <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of that man, while we're sitting here, <clears throat> for anybody who hasn't seen it, it's on Peacock right now. But Knock at the Cabin, probably Batista's best fucking performance, probably his best fucking film. The whole movie from top to bottom was fucking great. Yeah. Check it out tonight. Knock at the Cabin on, on which, which system you saw? On Peacock. I got you. It's, it's on the on Cock. Yeah, on the cock. And you don't even need premium cock for it, neither. Ooh, I don't know if I could pay premium for premium cock. Hell no, nah, that shit is expensive. Word. I'll take the free one. Yo, so the, the Knicks lost tonight. Ah, the series is over. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Bullshit. We bringing them to the Bronx. Now it's on. We the, jumping oh, them for the Madison Square Garden's not in the Bronx. But they're going to stay in the fucking Bronx. 
They're gonna be in the motel, the crackhead motels in the fucking Bronx. Motherfucker gonna be like, oh, y'all, y'all Cleveland motherfuckers wanna wanna fuck around? Here goes the Hall of Fame of, of motels in the Bronx. You wanna fuck on me? Okay. That would be smart if we get them a hotel up there in the Bronx. Get the ass robbed. That's how we won. Word. You spend yeah. one night on that fucking uh, the public transportation, that motherfuckers never come back. <laughs> he did. Put them on the six train. Nah, nah, nigga. Fuck that. We forfeit. <laughs> we'll be back next year. You have it. We don't. We don't want to win no more. <laughs> Bullshit. They from Cleveland. I heard it's the same shit out there. Nah, but they ain't got that one motherfucker talking to them with the dumbest shit in the world. They ain't got the headphone. They ain't prepared. That one motherfucker just started talking. You put your headphones in like, yo, my nigga, shut up. They don't care if you got headphones, bro. Yeah, they just keep talking. And that shit gonna drain their ass. Oh, man, I know you see my wire, right? Word. And speaking of fucking crackheads, what's the movie that's coming out after Miss Marvel? The the Marvels? I shit, I gotta look it up because their their whole slate fucking shifted again. Uh, I'll look it up right now. Cause, Cause that's what it is, right? It's Secret Invasion. No, it's Guardians of the Galaxy is coming out. Then Secret Invasion. Then Loki. Then the Marvels. Uh I don't know when Loki's coming out. I th- I believe it's supposed to be this year. I believe they said summertime. For for Loki? For Galaxy. Oh, I kind of am. Because I always liked the Galaxy. Even Galaxy 1 and uh, Galaxy 2. Guardians of the Galaxy 2. I liked that. It wasn't, you know. So there's no definitive date for Loki yet. Okay. It could be this year. It could be next year. The next movie... The next movie that I see here, which drown him in five feet of fucking ice cream. I don't think I don't think this is right, but I'm gonna check a different source. But for right now, it's Captain America: New World Order. Okay, and they haven't shown anything for that. No. Then we know Deadpool's coming. They're working on that shit. And that's gonna be. Is that gonna be a part of the MCU? Like that. That's gonna explain shit, or is that gonna be like Elseworlds? It's in the MCU. That's all I know. So technically, they already introduced the X Men with Deadpool one and two. No, because those are still the Fox ones. I keep, I hope they keep Colossus because I like that Colossus. So I heard he's coming back. I heard he's coming back. Uh, the I can't. I don't remember her name, but the the woman who played Vanessa, his girlfriend. Okay. That pool's girl. She's coming back. They got some new guy I've never heard of. Uh, Hugh 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 Jakeman. He's playing Wolverine. Okay. Yeah. I don't think he's gonna be any good at it, but you know. We'll see. Nah, but I heard that you know he's trying to to bulk up though. I mean, you got to. Everybody knows the Wolverine is like six two, two twenty. Word, solid muscle, like you know, uh, animanium. Are y'all being sarcastic? I thought he was short. <laughs> yeah, we are. Yeah. Okay. Here's here's the word of the day for you, show. I'm being facetious. Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> yes. Yes. I am being for Jesus. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> for Sheezy, my Weezy. For Sheezy. <laughs> and look, so it looks like uh, New World Order is the, the one after the Marvels. Okay. Do you think um, they're pushing Loki back for possible recasting of Kang? 
Leave this motherfucker alone. Here's what we know so far. Uh, Jonathan Majors released evidence that was supposed to clear him actually turned out and made it worse for him. Because there's nothing... Huh? It, yo, Nick, he could have went back in time and showed exactly what happened. But he, he has the misfortune of being a black man in America, and no matter what the fuck he does, he's the problem. Well, I'll, I'll let you guys debate the veracities of those conclusions. But so they're gonna get a the evidence, it, didn't, it didn't work out as intended. Uh, he got dropped by the U.S. Army as a spokesman. He just recently got dropped by his uh, agent and his uh, PR dep- people. Yeah. Marvel has reportedly not had any conversations about recasting him, although there's a rumor that if there is a short list, the lead actor from Snowfall, an FX show that I know Toad's watching, I don't know if anybody else watches, he's going to take over. But that's all fucking hearsay and background noise. The official word coming from Marvel as at the as of this moment, he's still Kang. He hasn't been charged with anything. He hasn't gone through any type of due process. So they're not they're essentially falling back and waiting to see what happens. Word. You gotta love this fucking word equality. Equal is supposed to be on both sides. Not just for you. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, you fucking lied. He proved you lied. Now you're looking for another reason to be mad at him. No. I gotta go back. Next I gotta go be back mad at the, the girl for lying. I gotta go back to the proof, though, because everything I've read so far has said that what he actually what they actually released doesn't actually it doesn't leave him in the best of light. So then, what do you, you know? You know how when when like a parent or a fa- or a guardian figure looks at you and like, I don't know what the fuck you did, but I know you did something. Yeah, it's one of those situations where like, all right, it might not have been exactly what she said, but you were not innocent in this whole fucking thing. Hey, but I mean that's. We gotta, we gotta see how it plays out. And fuck that shit, man. If you're gonna let it be uh, the Flash for this last movie, don't, don't recast fucking Kang. So what did Kang do? That's the guy from, from the guy from Creed, right? Yeah, yeah. What he do, Cap? I uh, suspected that there was an <laughs> incident in, uh, in the back of a cab. In which his the woman he was with was trying to get a phone, I believe, and in the tussle of taking the phone, he supposedly smacked the shit out of her, or hit her in some form or fashion, and that was the whole thing why he got arrested. Because that there, there's some weird thing that if somebody is a witness, like a, a virtual witness to to an incident. And that incident is reported, then they have to come and arrest you, even if, even if you actually didn't do anything, but somebody said that you did something, and there's other people around. They have to take you away. It's some weird shit that the news was saying. I don't know. I've That's- I've seen the opposite where a lot of people around they called and nothing happened, so. I've heard of that situation because uh, something happened where they didn't respond before and the lady, the guy came back and killed the lady, I think it was. So ever since then, they just start, if, they, if somebody's called out, somebody's getting arrested. That is, well, that's what I heard from the shows I watch. No mommy. No, I'm done as fuck. Hmm. Yeah. He said no comments. <laughs> no, I was reading what uh 
<laughs> yeah. Taquan goes, me at the movie theater. Two tickets to Kang Dynasty, please. Jonathan Mayers. You know I was Kang three years ago. Me. That's cool, sir. Row one, please. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> but why would you want to go to the to watch row one in the movie? You're gonna be like this. You wanna sit back, you know, in the middle or something. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I get it. <laughs> Yo, listen, listen, man. Fuck all this bullshit. Yo, if he's not guilty and they want to arrest him and they losing all the sponsors and all that, then let him get one free slap under them. <laughs> Fuck it. If he didn't smack her and all this shit is happening, now it's time to smack her. Now it's time to smack her. Because I'll tell you one thing, they dropped me with all this shit and I'm and I'm innocent. I'm not going back to the motherfuckers. I'm gonna go find something else and there's gonna be a smear campaign on all these shits. Because you you know, the army is not crystal fucking clear. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There's there's a lot of shit that happens in that motherfucking organization too. You know, I so I don't wanna hear shit about no fucking you allegations. Nah. A lot of allegations against the army. Word. A lot of, now, a lot of allegations against a lot of people. I heard Congress got the most allegations. Word. And I'm pretty sure that that company that 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 represented him at one point hired somebody that represented OJ. So fire that motherfucker too, then. Yeah, I'm I'm trying to read up on um what the hell was <laughs> going on. Just so I'd see yeah. if there's any more information I can get. Is it I'm getting tired of this shit where it's like one day he smacks a woman, the next day he didn't smack her. And he's innocent. Then the next day, well, everybody's dropping him because it, even though he's innocent, he looked bad in the video. Wait, what does that mean? You're just <laughs> looking for a reason to get rid of this thing. I didn't like that you smiled when you answered that yeah. question. So you fight. Yeah, like you should have never told the woman, excuse me, miss, but I don't know what you're doing here. That's a that's a woman and you don't call her miss. How dare you? Yeah. Like, and then it's like, Aaron Rodgers is a jet. Aaron Rodgers is not a jet. It's the it's the Green Bay Packers' fault. No, it's Rodgers' fault. Now he wants to retire. Now they want all the picks. Like, what's going on? Report the news the first time. We're getting opinions. This is why I don't watch the news. When they say, oh, there's a mass shooting over here. It's like, well, I don't believe it until they definitively say this is what happened. The news says they're not enough news. You gotta make some up. You got, especially the channels that gotta talk about it twenty four hours. You think they can say the same thing over and over? You gotta yeah. make some stuff up. Shit. Not I, hear I hear you, but shit, man, you fucking with our timetable here. Fucking now they're gonna recast Kane. Then what? They're gonna remake fucking. Um, uh, Ant Man, the Quantum Verse. Shit. Wouldn't you like that? I mean, yeah, but they just gonna fuck it up again. <laughs> you just gonna see the kid from Snowfall on a like. <laughs> it just pass out. <laughs> Wait, what? I understand you trying to help me, but let me have it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Every single day. Every fucking up. That's toe right there, bro. I'm gonna take that motherfucker like I was fucking do. Like I do it every day. <laughs> Your brother's like, what the fuck they talking about? You you watch no fault? Uh, Vic? No, I do not. But uh, no, I'm just reading up on this. Where he's uh, he's also he just got kicked out of a movie he was trying to make. Called the man in the basement. He, the Texas Rangers were gonna do a fucking promo thing with him. They kicked him out of that. Jesus Christ! They and kicked him out was... of his own shit. Yo, these people do not fuck around. They don't care about women. But boy, Dude. do if you have allegations on them, they pull the trigger. Yo. <laughs> Like, that's wow. crazy. You, like, yo, the, uh... you have no control over your body, but God forbid if you say something. 
You ever heard the expression "perception is reality"? Yeah, and that, I'm, that is now one hundred percent the standard now. Shit, I'm a yo show. We gotta get that fake money and and chains, and we'll just look like we're rich. And then next thing you know, we go to the store. People are like, oh, Mister Toe and Show, you don't have to pay for nothing. You rich. Hey. Yeah, I don't think that's how it works with rich people. Nah, Yo, but you know, none of that shit worked with me. You can identify as a couch or as a baked potato, and now you got people who got to respect you. I identify as fucking seven one motherfuckers laughing at me. Like, what kind of <laughs> shit is this? Now, all of a sudden, I perceived you as a as a woman beater, so you a woman beater. I, you can't, I'm showing you I'm a rich motherfucker, and I don't, just, you know, I shouldn't be paying for nothing. You don't perceive that, motherfucker. Guilty. Or some bitch. I don't know. These are the times we're in, man. But if, all right, so if Kane. But she did, so she uh, was taken to the hospital with minor injuries to her head and neck. So she smashed herself in the face in the car. What and if we all seen, We all seen what the thin line between love and hate. I don't know. He's supposed to be in court uh, May 8th or some shit like that. What is she saying? Because they say he might have on the tussle. Black. Hold on, let me turn this light on. Fuck it. Which, on the tussle. Be... <laughs> oh, black. My bad. But yes. what is she saying? Did he My man said. <laughs> My man said, Does Jonathan Mayers have to smack a bitch? What? Word. Did he slap her or did you, he slap her by mistake? What my man, my man said, "You want your phone? Bitch, you can't have your phone." <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Shit. Who are you texting? What? <laughs> Listen, bitch. When you in the car with Jonathan Mayers, you don't fucking talk to nobody. <laughs> you know them jokes okay. you making. That's why people are, that's why people are fucking cutting them from movies and endorsement deals and shit like that. Yeah, because God forbid the dumb ones are the people that he didn't do nothing is still fucking p- prosecuting this man. Yo, imagine that. Imagine that uh you're on trial for killing this person. I got definitive proof I didn't kill him. Well, we don't we still don't fucking like you. So even though you're innocent, you're gonna spend 15 years in jail. For what? Dude. That but a possibility you might kill this motherfucker. No, but like, in all, like, serious, like, no, this motherfucker was in Texas when this nigga died. It don't matter. I just don't like your face, so you killed him. What? Maybe, I maybe. pushed the button for sure. Yeah, I was gonna say, I wish I had my button. What? what? <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe not to that extreme, extreme, but I mean, shit, the Innocence Projects, the Innocent Project fucking got how many people serving life sentences for shit they didn't do off and then come to find out the cops and they just look a smidget to the left there to find the real dude like, see this shit and then you see show left because it is injustice the injustice of the society of, of America show left and then he came back and he left again is there still injustice in this world? He said he ain't coming back until there's justice to be served. Yeah, he ain't never gonna be on the show. <laughs> but shit, nah, man. But so, so the Loki shit. I think, I think it's gonna be. Well, here you go, show. You can tell. You can tell these people you you tired of this injustice. I'm tired of this fucking injustice. There you go. And that's what show got to say about that. How how's the weather outside there, show? In the words of your brother, it's kind of nippy out here. <laughs> He's talking to you, Cap. When the fuck have I ever said that? He said... Well, it, it can't be a regular word. It's cold. Or it, it, it's Hold on. You know, Hold on. Because No, no, no. Because now, now I'm going to call the fucking racial flag here. <laughs> as, the only white, as the only white fucking looking one on this entire goddamn network. You're going to turn around and say, oh, in the immortal words of the white man, let me say the <laughs> whitest shit possible. Damn, <laughs> Joe, that's fucked up. I, I wanted to sound proper, not, not white. Damn, my man tried to pull the premium <laughs> cock out. <laughs> <laughs> he said it's no immortal white man. <laughs> Damn. 
I can imagine you in court, your honor. <laughs> he called me the immortal white man. <laughs> and, you, and you know, in the eyes of the law, I'm blacker than black. <laughs> I'm Puerto Rican, your honor. <laughs> because of my name, I'm blacker than black. And he calling me the mortal white man. Throw this man in jail for 30 I'm years. Word <laughs> life. <laughs> Fuck around. And you're going to see what the privilege does. <laughs> oh, no, I've seen it. It, it, it. It's evidence. Word. A lot of people <laughs> suffering. Word. <laughs> Yo, I'm with Taquan. If you serve potato salad with raisins, we gotta stop this shit. Stop the injustice. Yeah, don't look at me. I don't even need fucking potato salad. Potato salad with raisins in it. I don't even. Yo, whoever the fuck decided to put mayonnaise on potatoes should be shot. Whoever decided to call it a salad should be shot. Puerto Rican actually showed me that mashed potato with mayo. It tastes alright. <laughs> but did they get the recipe from Vin's fucking French fry debacle? <laughs> <laughs> what they call it? Yeah, potatoes. Yeah. You want the You want you the fries? potatoes? Yeah. It was, yo, it, it was funny. He that motherfucker turned into Macho Man for that. It's like yeah, cup of coffee. <laughs> yo, I was tired, dude. It was like this was a that was me. Holding back as much as I could, but still getting something out. Right. <laughs> like, like, I was, I was, like I was killing everyone in the McDonald's when I took it out on the fries. If I don't do this, all of y'all die. So, yeah. when I got business. Hold on, you don't feel comfortable anymore. Shit, I'm the one being racially attacked. <laughs> He's being racially <laughs> profiled out here, Taquan. <laughs> I could have sworn I heard show call me a cracker. <laughs> <laughs> With mayonnaise. <laughs> so, now that show's here and show knows everything there is to know about Kang. <laughs> it's cool if it happens to you. Just because he's the ever loving blue eyed cap doesn't mean uh, that it's cool that it happens to him. Uh, remember, I mean, let's. I'm a That's minority, right. and it's right. never cool for a minority to be racially attacked. That's right. Taquan. Taquan. Yeah. <laughs> he said it with the emphasis. Taquan. <laughs> now I'm talking to you, nigga. <laughs> we coming for you, nigga. <laughs> but shit. So, since show knows everything there is to know about Kang. Loki is the next thing, so that's probably gonna show more of the the Kang and time traveling. I'm it's I'm not be, sure about yeah. the multiverse. This could shit. be the origin of the I think of the Kang that we're supposed to be afraid of. He's gonna be from there. I think so. The whole Victor Timely. I think that's gonna be the wherever that leads. Whether that leads to him growing into the man that got his ass handed to him. By a bunch of ants from the future, or whatever the case is. Or do you think they're gonna stop Victor Timely, and the Councils of Kang are gonna be like, now we need to stop them because we keep stopping all these Kangs, and Kangs ain't gonna be in control no more. Dude, dude. the the Council of Kings, I feel like. I feel that was thrown in last minute just to like, hey, here, boom, here's something. And then back the fuck out of the room. Because, show what, I, what I've been telling Cap is that I feel like they're, sh they're telling two stories at once. They're telling the story for Kang Dynasty, which is the multiverse time travel and stuff. And then they're telling the story of Secret Wars, which is with the Secret Invasion and all the other shit with with Nick Fury, which is supposed to happen right after Kang Dynasty. So, so right now, I think the next phase is probably going to be the Secret Wars story being told, and then we'll get into Kang Dynasty. Because not for nothing, the multiverse shit, like I said before, they they're probably like, yo, we have all these cool ideas, but we can't do it in these movies because if we do it in the 
Avengers movie, it's just going to be like, oh, we saw this already. So they're probably saving all that cool shit for there. So the best thing to do is let's do another story and then, boom, let's hit them with the fucking Kang Dynasty shit. It's like, we'll give them a little bit and then we'll hit them with the Kang Dynasty shit. And because they, they, they pretty much didn't do nothing with the Infinity Stones. They showed us a little bit of it. Social media th- until they fucking bring out Thanos. But at least everything there was tied in. We knew where yeah. it was going. But that's what I'm saying. And that first one, we didn't get the full picture until the, the last couple of movies. Then they were, then they turn around and like, all this? This was the Infinity Saga. And we're like, yeah. oh. Oh, we suck again. Which I think <laughs> that's what they should have fucking done. They, they should have done that with every fucking saga. Just make the movies, and then when it's close to the end, turn around and go, this was this saga, so we can all turn around and go, oh, shit, let's watch all this shit again. Yeah, but th- that's the problem. They they, they 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 did the wrong thing for the hype. You know? Where it's like, yo, show, what you gonna bring to the barbecue? I don't know. Then he comes to the barbecue with some penne or some shit. It's like, oh, this shit was banging. Show, what you gonna bring to the barbecue? I don't know. I'll think of something. All right, then he brings some ribs. Then next she's like, yo, sh- yo, I'm definitely going to bring the, the the steak next year. I'm going to bring the steak. All right, cool. Then it's the fucking steak they use for the Philly cheese steaks. Like, what the fuck is this? Our expectations were higher than this. We had better belief in you, show. And then they go, all right, we're going to fix it all. Send out Ant-Man. Yeah. Now, in your scenario, imagine if he didn't say we're going to bring steak. And saying. then he just showed up with the with the Philly cheesesteak steakums. And you're like, what's this? He's like, yo, we're gonna make Philly cheesesteaks. You'd be like, ah shit. There you go. All yep. right. See? See? We gotta do that shit too, show. Get some Philly cheesesteaks. Right now, if you're wondering, Taekwon show is sitting on his phone just for you. That's that show's way of saying Taquan, and Taquan only kiss my ass. <laughs> That's his only account. <laughs> Word. If that is your real name, but but yeah, I, that's what I think is because you you t- you tell people too much shit, and now that now we're expecting shit, where before it was anticipating shit, you know. Yeah. This is the difference. We anticipated, yo, Thanos is going to come out. Thanos is going to come out. And then they showed Thanos and he's a badass mother. If we were expecting Thanos to come out, like, yo, Thanos is coming out. And then it's Ronan the Accusers. Like, the fuck is this? You know what I'm saying? Well, I didn't see no Ronan the Accuser type looking chick for uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, for the Marvels, you mean? Oh, all right. Never mind. Uh. Because <laughs> I, I saw the Guardians of the Galaxy one I was like I don't, I don't know what's going on here But did you see it? Yeah uh, Let me see Well I don't know if I can even show a frame Yeah you can show the frame Yeah out. yeah, you can show a frame All right, let me, As soon as I find it I'll let you know Alright But to answer one of the other questions, uh, Nova is not going to show up. He's not going to be in the MCU at this time? Well, Mo, um, what's his name? James Gunn never liked the character. That's why he hasn't... That's why the Nova Corps was in there. But Nova... They haven't hinted to Nova at all. So I don't think Nova's showing up in Guardians 3. Maybe Guardians 4, or if they continue it on with somebody else, he'll show up. Maybe he'll be part of the new team. Who knows? That has currently constituted. Unless somebody unless somebody told them, yo, you can do whatever movie you want. Just put Nova in this one. I don't think we're getting them. Nah. So we ain't getting shit. So I always heard the rumor of Nova getting a special presentation like 
Werewolf by Night. I heard that too, but I there's been no more chatter about that since the early rumor. When was the rumor? It was it was a while ago, back when when they first started the whole like special presentation Werewolf by Night shit. Everybody's like, oh well, he might get one. He might get one. Ah, uh, so it was just it wasn't like uh, definitive. They get yeah. you know like people from the top like yeah he might get one. Nah, it's it's a fuck you pay me. Yeah. Do we need Nova? I feel like we need Blue Marvel. Because Do we need Nova? Yes and no. I, if we're doing more space shit, I think we need and, and like the Guardians could is potentially going away. I think yeah, then we definitely need Nova to fill that void. So it's not only Rambo and Danvers up there. But like, do we really need him? No, because what does he do? The same shit as fifteen other people right now. Like that's the only problem. That that's the the one problem that is difficult to solve with movies. Where comic books, you could flood the market with comic book characters, and I read Nova, and you read Marvel, Captain Marvel, but we don't cross pollinate. So. My guy does some shit cool. Your girl does some shit cool. We don't give a shit. But when you're putting them in a movie and everybody does the same shit, now it's just redundant. Here is... Okay. That is her right there. All right, I was expecting somebody blue with the shit on their face. She just looks like a normal chick with a hammer. Yeah. Everybody else is blue, though. And they're Cree, right? Yep. I, you know, I have a feeling that those are Cree bodies. That they're trying to experiment on or some shit. Either that or they're trying to do fucking their own Inhumans. What, from the, the trailer? Yeah, from... In- it's either their own, their own Inhumans, Kree bodies, or Super Scrolls. But I, I think, think the Super Scrolls are coming from the Kree. I think those are the people they replaced. Okay. Because if you if you know anything about the Secret Invasion, the comic, they, like, they, uh, when Cap was like, oh, shit, Cap's a scroll, they wouldn't have found Cap was being held somewhere else. So the real Cap came back. So you they think? might just be the bodies that are like the original people are just being held. So if it was Cap, you think they caught him when he went back in time? No, well, I that I don't think so. No, I don't think Cap is anywhere part of this. But I don't think you'd catch him going back in time because the only people who knew about that. It would also then have to be would have to have been scrolls originally. Like there's too much to fucking untangle to try to make that work. So who would you have as as a scroll? Senators and shit. You know. I'll tell you. I don't want to say because it, it might. My theory might be right, and I don't want to ruin it. But I will say this. I will make as many prominent characters that can realistically be scroll scrolls. So if we have like let's say let's say the new Avengers team is like eight people. Right? Just as an example. I'd make three of them scrolls. Which three? Like the bullshit Probably. ones? No, no, like real ones. Like, like, like if we were taking the 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 team as constituted, Monica Rambo, Captain Marvel, Rhodey, uh, Sam. Captain America, Bucky, I guess is on there now. 
Who else is on the Hawkeye is still around? That would be a good that would be a good way to uh to have Hawkeye but not what's his name so he could heal if he was a scroll. Yeah. Because then so, he, he could be a scroll most of the time and it's somebody else. Yeah. So let's take those seven. I would make Captain America, Captain Marvel, and oh, so let's put eight. Uh let's who else is there? Miss Marvel? No, we need a bit. The Hulk's still around. Okay. So I would make the Hulk, Captain Marvel, Captain America, Scrolls. Would they be able to use their powers? Super Scroll, yeah. That's why they made the Super Scroll. Is to the regular scroll could shift shape, can shape shift into somebody. Then the Super Scroll was was supposed to be able to shift and then take the power then there was one super scroll that took all four of the fantastic four powers okay <laughs> yeah but it, i mean that's a crude example but in in that secret of agent show i would guarantee i would definitely make one prominent sub star a scroll now High in the sky theory. Not yeah, Amelia no, yeah. Clark, because we already know Amelia Clark's playing Thalos' daughter. Yeah. So we already know she's a scroll. <laughs> All right. So now, high in the sky theory. You said they take the people. The scrolls can shape shift, and they were trying to take their powers, and the super scroll took all the Fantastic Four powers. What if the people they were taking were mutants? Like those people on the table are mutants, and the scroll are trying to take their abilities. And the the Kree developed the Inhumans to fight the mutants because the scroll were taking the mutants' powers. That would be that would be dope. I don't think they're going in that direction. But if they, that would be a cool direction to go into if you wanted to bring in humans in. But see, now this is what I was talking about, the the redundancy. The difference between an inhuman and a mutant is negligible. And this is where you would have the X-Men or the, the, the mutant movies where it's like, bro, we're all the same. Why are we at war? And you can have a Magneto type and the Xavier type, but now instead of for it being bad mutants and good mutants, it's in humans and mutants. I mean, for the movie, that might work, but for fans, did it's weird. There are definite uh, X Men fans and definite Inhuman fans, and to be that blase about it, where they're like, "Well, fuck it, we're all just blah blah blah." That's a little bit like saying, "Hey, Navy man." You an army, right? They're like, no, no, no. <laughs> I mean, listen. At the end, of it was just, it's like Puerto Rican Dominican. Yes, we're diff- we're we're from different places, but we're this pretty much the same. Unlike Show, he's a different breed. True, but you still distinguish yourselves. Yeah, but I'm saying like we're not at war with Dominicans because we're Puerto Ricans. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it could just be something like that. Or we can have it where it's, you know, the Inhumans saved the mutants and now they live all together. You know what I'm saying? But, I mean, do we... And and for the MCU, do we really need them? What, in Inhumans? Yeah, if the X-Men, for, for casual fans, for sure. I don't know if we, you can hear me. He can hear you. He's just muted. All right, sure. For you, the casual fans, casual fan, you get a movie with Cyclops, Wolverine, Jean Grey, Beast, Iceman, all the X-Men you know. Do you really then need another movie about a similar team with Black Bolt, Medusa, and Crystal, and Lockjaw, and... You 
You're muted, Joe. I don't think he's talking to us. He might not be. <laughs> Joe. My bad. I had somebody get asking for instructions. I mean, for directions. You it's told him to uh, uh, make a left. Casual... And... Yeah. You... Oh, you heard me? No. You, you was reading you 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 read lips you good yeah anyways, man at this point turn left uh Shit, you you got a so novel casual view you, if you had if i had a movie if i had a movie from all right i'll I recap movie, for you if you had an x-men movie thank you. right you already know the x-men so you had that movie coming out mm -hmm. do you then need being a casual fan do you then need another movie with another group of people that pretty much do the same shit with just different names. Mm, not really, no, because especially if as a as a casual fan, you actually know some of the stuff, and then you hear that somebody else is you're gonna feel like it's a copycat, basically. For yeah. me, like I wouldn't want the same a Wolverine with knives called Johnny. Or something. You can give me an example. Nah, I want Wolverine. I don't want this guy. Who, who is this? Who man is this? It's like it's like the fake Scorpion. Who, who's this? New Cyber? Who's this? Let's see. That's the risk you run with trying to put the Inhumans in now. Well, all right. So you could put the you could have the Kree there, and in King Dynasty, have in humans from another multiverse fight the mutants from this multiverse and then you could do it that way you can it's very what's going on no more guy and leon the king i mean i nobody when they did it in the comics the humans versus the x-men nobody really fucking wanted to read that it wasn't that popular of a crossover and it, they got rid of it relatively quick i don't think anybody do you really want to see after watching wanda Fucking treat Black Bolt like a bitch. Do you want to see Black Bolt yell at Cyclops? To be honest with you, no. But I do want to at least have them apart because they, the Kree made them. Like, I, I make some kind of mention to them. But but they made them in the comics. Like this is what I'm saying. Like why Civil War works so well and why it's one of my favorites because they found a way to tell the movie version of Civil War. If the movies are gonna do, they're already doing what they're what they're doing. We don't need one for one representation now. We're past that. We got past that stage. They don't need to be in humans in the MCU if we're getting mutants. The Kree made them cool. We don't need that. The Celestials did not make the fucking or uh, the reasoning for the Eternals to exist is not the reasoning in the comics. We don't need the one for ones anymore. Just let the fucking movie, just let the writers write the story they're gonna do. Just make it good. So, would you accept those bodies on the table being mutants? Yeah. If you told me though they're mutants and that's how the, the Super Scroll program was being implemented, yeah, I'll take that. And then you just saved the one. With the Fantastic Four shit for later on down the line, or if you want to hint to the Fantastic Four that they exist without getting to their movie yet, put him in, and we all know what the fuck he does. Like, what if what, what if the Fantastic Four were also captured? Like they were blipped, they came back into a trap, but. Okay, where were they before the blip? See, we, that's the one thing we got to answer when they get to the Fantastic Four shit. Where the fuck were they this whole time? So what if... What if because the uh, scroll, before you get to that, then. the reason we got to answer that over the X-Men thing is because 90% of the X-Men are trying to hide what they yeah. are. 
where the Fantastic Four, they're forefront. They're, they're the fucking... Johnny Storm is the definition of... Wait, let me take a selfie. <laughs> what? All right, so what about this? What if they went to space and in our timeline, their plane blew up and they all died? But the shit happened to them. They turned into what they turned into and the scroll captured them in space. And they were experimenting them in space and they never fully developed. And then Captain Marvel or Sword or whoever found them or the Kree found them and they escaped and they came down and that's where the movie starts with them, you know, fucking free now and shit. It's like, oh shit, Reed Richards is alive. You know? That... You could do that. That that's definitely a possibility to explain where the fuck they've been. But now, how many people are gonna know Reed Richards? Because he wasn't famous until the Fantastic Four. So I don't mind people. I don't mind people knowing Reed Richards. But like, yeah. Like if he comes back, and the whole world is like, yo. We haven't heard anything about the fucking giant statue in the o- in the Pacific Ocean, but Reed Richards, that motherfucker, we know, and yet nobody has ever mentioned that name <laughs> in thirty fucking movies. Like that's a little fucking weird. <laughs> Cause I, Doctor Strange got a shout out in fucking uh, what do you call it in uh, Winter Soldier. What in the TV show or the? No, in in the in the movie Winter Soldier when they were about to kick the dude off the roof, he's like, "Oh, we're targeting people," and he listed a bunch of names, and one of them was Stephen Strange. Oh, okay. So, like, I feel like if he said Reed Richards, then then we could you you know like okay, we know he exists in here. I mean, they couldn't have said it at the time because of. All the other shit, but what if Blue Marvel saves Fantastic Four? I mean, from the from the scroll. Dude, I feel like who who was it? Was it you and Pro? You and somebody else are dying to push Blue Marvel into the MCU, and I don't think they're gonna do it. I don't think they're gonna do it neither, but it's like I like I said, I'm giving them every avenue they ever gonna need to put Blue Marvel. In. Like they can have Blue Marvel being the guy that fucking serves the swarmer at the fucking store. He just undercover, hiding out because he's tired of this shit. It and could. listen, not for nothing, you could hide Blue Marvel's history and the Fantastic Four's history if you can hide a fucking head and a hand coming out the ocean, but. I, <laughs> Without any, without any help. Well, in the comics, as you know, as you've told us before, they've already hidden his yes. history, so that's already baked into the story. That's why we, I mean, shit, they try to erase Isaiah Bradley. Yeah. And so we already know that they erase people from history in the MCU. And to answer that question, they are the Ghost Rider is coming some somewhere down the line. They got the rights back to him. They're going to do some shit with him. I would, would I like a movie? Yeah. What I think would be better is if they did another Werewolf by Night special and the writer was in there either helping or chasing him. Okay. Because my ideal thing would be Johnny Storm, ah, Johnny Storm, Johnny Blaze. Or Denny Ketch. It could be either one of the two. Because I don't, Robbie Reyes is a little too new for where they already have Werewolf by Night. Yeah. But Donny Ke- uh, Danny Ketch or Johnny Blaze, they are there like, oh, we're hunting a werewolf. And when they meet him, the writer's like, the writer comes out and is like, no, nah, this motherfucker is good. That's the motherfucker we need to go after. And then the werewolf is like, oh, shit. Us versus him? Fuck yeah. And make it somebody somebody big enough that you would need two people there. 
fuck it. Make it a three on one because you got to bring back uh, Man Thing. Yeah. Like, he was fucking awesome in that. <laughs> yeah, he was. I'm not even going to lie. I mean, yeah. But I would I would like to see him in a maybe a TV show or like as a another character in someone else's movie. Because we already had the movies with Nick Cage and they didn't work. I I think if you lean into the horror aspect, if you got somebody who was like, "Hey, Marvel has its um its magic and mystic side. Marvel has its space side." Marvel has its street level side, but you haven't met the Marvel that started out as timely comics that did its horror shit. Here's a horror side, and you put Moon Knight, Ghost Rider, Blade, and fucking uh, Werewolf by Night, Man Thing, uh, yeah. Elsa Bloodstone. You put them in that fucking pocket. Then you get something, you get another thing that you can give to fans in which, again, you don't have to connect. You can if you want to, but you don't have to connect. And you give an option. The Marvels is not your cup of tea for whatever fucking reason you want to say. Cool. How about this horror shit? Yeah, and it can be, yo, they can tell multiple stories because... The perfect place to put them would be with like Dormammu and, and all that other shit. Like Doctor Strange, what, three now? Yeah. Doctor Strange 3 can introduce some shits. Yo, I can't wait for the title of Doctor Strange 3 when it's gonna be <laughs> Doctor Strange 3. This is the movie you wanted to see. And we walk in there and it's a cartoon yeah. of fucking Steamboat Willie. <laughs> Doctor Strange 3, the multiverse of Dormammu. Yo, <laughs> Doctor Strange 3, Dormammu's so fat. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. But, I mean, there's so much things we that I would like to have, but in reality, <laughs> I know we... You can't have it all, man. You can. <laughs> Doctor Strange, Dormammu gets pegged. Yo, you can, can you have it all because we pretty much line from the first one. Your mamu, I've come to peg you. Your yeah, it's mamu, better than, I've come to. <laughs> it's better than. Does he shoot webs out of his ass? Yo, did did you see real quick on that tangent? Did you see somebody did a, I think like a three D rendering of Spider Man swinging through the city, shooting webs out of his ass. No, I did not see that. It's <laughs> fucking. <laughs> But you can have it. Like, they can give us it all. It's a fucking series of movies. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I get it. You have to adapt some shit to, to work in the movies. But also, you can still give us shit. You know? Like, you don't... You don't have to give us word-for-word -word dialogue. Or, you know... Issue number 776 where Squirrel Girl met fucking Luke Cage the one time. We don't need that. But, you know, at least let's acknowledge the entirety of the shit. You know, like, all right, big events. This did this. All right, so the scroll came in. What was the big deal? All right, they did this. All right, so let's have some kind of effect to that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I get it, but... The, uh, the reason, one of the reasons I believe you're not going to get that is because Marvel is not hiring stand-ins. They're not hiring a director to come in and go, hey, all I need you to do is point the camera here where I tell you to. And a writer to be like, hey, I just need you to write down what I say. The writers and directors want to put their own spin, their own storytelling, their own shit into it. Otherwise, why the fuck are they making it? Because that was the thing at the beginning of Marvel. When, uh, uh, what the fuck's the guy's name? Edgar, uh, Edgar Wright. 
when he left Ant Man, everybody was like, "Oh, because Marvel won't let directors make their own movies." They're telling them, "Here's the cookie cutter production line. This is what you got to do." So Marvel started letting directors do their thing. And the Russo brothers came in and knocked it out of the park because they did their fucking thing. And it, you're not gonna get direct you're not gonna get quality directors and writers if they come into a project and you give them a list of here's the mandated shit that has to go in. And it, that's different from here's the story we're telling. So here's a path. And here's a direction you have to go, but you can do wherever you want in this direction versus here's the movie you're making. Yeah, but it's it's looking like he goes, This is the characters we want in the movie. Make what you want. All right. So how does this tie into the to the phase five? What? Yeah, you know this is supposed to start phase five. Nah, this is my interpretation of Ant Man. He shoots webs out of his ass. Well, now that's a problem because we was told this is starting phase five and it doesn't connect to nothing. We still know nothing. You wasted our time. You did your liberties. Yes. Oh, you told such a beautiful story of a waste of fucking time. It is possible. I've done it today to fucking go with their story and what's going on and reach to the future and still have my own interpretation and spin on it. Yeah, you know? but none of, yes, but none of what you said had the majority of what you were looking for. Like you didn't go back in there and put all the shit from the from the comic you knew and all that. Like it still was based on what the movies were doing. Yeah, but then you still I connected how the scrolls get in their powers. It was the mutants. I introduced the mutants. Everybody wants to introduce the mutants. I did that. And then in the comics, the scrolls fought the fucking Kree. The Kree have already been introduced to Miss Marvel. They could have been either experimenting on the fucking Fantastic Four or they had their own fucking inhumans to go after the fucking scroll. And the scroll were trying to take the powers from the mutants to even the score up. Yeah. That, that shit that happened in the in the comics, but it's still it's telling the story from three different fucking movies. Yeah, but we we could very well be getting that with Secret Invasion and the Marvels. The Skrull Kree War. Like, yo, the, the, the best my interpretation of a character was She-Hulk. Because that wasn't She-Hulk. That was just... That wasn't a... That wasn't She-Hulk. That wasn't a lawyer movie. That wasn't a TV show. That wasn't a comedy that wasn't anything we was promised. That was the, where is my McChicken of the fucking MCU? I'm sorry. We're going to keep talking about this shit until they fucking fix it. Send me a goddamn email that you apologize or some shit. That, yo, they sent me a, a post saying that the woman that played She-Hulk said that she... They haven't said anything about season two, but she'll be happy to come back. I said she could come back, but the motherfuckers who wrote she hope cannot. It cannot. Now, I'm gonna ask you this question because I've, I've we've talked about this with the WWE before. What if She Hulk? Maybe not a hit for you, not a hit for me, not a hit for most. But what if? Marvel looked at a specific de demographic and went, oh, these guys liked it. The rest of us have everything else. We can afford to do this one for this group. And they just do it again for that group who seemed to have enjoyed it. The only group that that show catered to was the Dana Carvey's I think I could beat the chicken. Now, a lot of a lot of women who normally don't watch uh, superhero shit like that show. Yeah, and I wonder why. Yeah, but like Marvel can afford to go well. Let's cater to them with this one specific thing because you have everything else. 
Yeah, but it, it, this is the beautiful thing. And don't call it She-Hulk. Call it Big Green Woman. I mean, it is and then and then And then write us a She-Hulk show. <laughs> that, de- that defeats the purpose of Marvel going, all right, we can do one for them. The, what Daredevil was saying, you do one for them so I can keep doing what I do normally. Nah, fuck them. They're not the ones going to the movie theater to spend their money. They're not the ones investing 30 years into this fucking program. Fuck them. Do one for them, but make it for me also. Because it's always for them. Everything is for them. Why do they do this? So the casual fan can join in and like it because they didn't read the comics. Why did they do this? Because the casual fan... There has not been one movie that was for the comic book fan. Not true. What movie was for the comic book fan? I would say definitely Endgame. If you didn't see all the movies before Endgame, if you weren't watching the MCU, there's no way you went into that movie knowing anything and enjoying anything. (laughs) That was the one. 30 years. And they get every other fucking movie. Dude, because... I trust me. I know the. I know, understand that frustration. Every single Thor. I understand that frustration, hope. but I had thirty-eight years of reading these characters and getting the stories of these characters. By this point, yes. Would I want to see everybody in an excellent movie? Yeah, but just seeing them on the screen. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. Right. Here's the, here's the thing. I get it. If She Hulk was funny, do it for them. If the lawyer show had some kind of law in it, courtroom scenes in it, some kind of thing that had anything to do with lawyers, law, court cases, actual fucking, you know, law that we could detain to, She Hulk shit other than fucking uh, titanium. I get it. But nothing you said this show was about was in this show. Yeah. That's the problem. For you. It wasn't a comedy. It wasn't a law movie. It wasn't a law show. It wasn't a She-Hulk show. Wong was in the shit. He wasn't the Sorcerer Supreme. What's going on here? Yes. You can make it for them, but make it funny. You can make it for them, but actually have law in it. But you know they, how many women love Law and Order? Guess what's in there? Yeah, but they enjo- but that demographic already enjoyed the show as is. I understand that, but you need to understand, and they need to understand. They don't know shit, and they're wrong. They, well, that they that's your they're, no. I, I I facts. I speak facts, and their opinions are wrong. Just the facts of the case. It's just it's just it's what it is. It's what it is. We're living in a world where people hate shows and movies because there's women involved. They hate fucking shows because of different races. They hate fucking shows because of fucking political stances. I can hate a show because it was not funny and it had nothing to do with the law. You said this isn't a fucking superhero show. It's a law show and there's no law in it. You try to make this shit a comedy. There was no jokes in the shit. The only okay. people that fucking were good were people that were fucking Daredevil. This show was not good. No matter how no matter how much you want to bullshit yourself and lie to yourself, you can never lie to me. I know for a fact. Don't fight him. He's all, and I, it's 100% true. Yeah. This is the fucking fact. They did not like this show. They came up with the same way this woman made lies about fucking Kang beating his beating her ass, they made lies about the fucking demographic like in the show. You're full of shit. Kiss my ass, so what? You're full of shit. There's no proof. I'm gonna, yo, I'm gonna do what they do to us. I'm gonna trump you motherfuckers. There's no proof whatsoever that the demographic liked that show. There's no proof whatsoever that women like that fucking show. 
actually, they're hiding the fact that women like it when they stick to the fucking comic books. They're actually hiding the hundreds of millions of dollars that these shows and movies make that women and children go to see because they want to see shit from the comic books. They're giving you false facts. They're lying to you, and I'm the only one that can drain the swamp. I know Kenny's full of shit right now. He said he loved that show. I know Kenny's lying. You know how I know Kenny's lying? Because he's typing. Anything that comes out that man's mouth is a lie, unless he agrees with me. Because he can't lie forever. But he's bullshitting his way to the top. He's just mad because Kevin Durant ain't get his parlay. And the fucking Knicks lost. Tell me no bullshit. I know what the fucking's going on. He doesn't agree with you, Cap. He doesn't agree with you. And he can't wait for season two of Moon Knight. Leon the King knows. Leon the King knows. He said, he said fuck, fuck the Knicks. He agrees with you, Cap. Fuck the Knicks. Yo, all I'm saying is, it is now time, and you can take this however you want. This is not directed at you, but you can take this however you want. It is now time to be the adults in the room and start looking at all these movies and go, this this one I like, that one, not not so much. And if other people like it, cool. I don't got to worry about that one. That one I like, that one I like. Nah. It, it, this, this is how we adult in the 90s. We don't let motherfuckers fall on their face. We want better for them. Don't, no, see, don't the piss thing. down my leg and tell me it's raining. Here's the thing. I think we got to stop this whole we want better for them. Because in reality, them doing better does nothing for us. I've had, again, I've had. 38 years of reading all the stories and the characters that I like and all that. And then I've had my entire Infinity Saga, which is 10 plus years of movies that led to a fucking awesome story where Thanos came in and did the snap. I've already had that. The rest of it, you guys you guys go and find your version of that. I don't need I don't need any more. I've already had an abundance of everything I've wanted to see happen. Now it's time to do the adult thing and let let the next group try to find their way, try to find their thing. Nah. They fucked up already. You're lost. Dude, you, you can't. It's physically impossible. And you, above all else, watching the WWE should know this. It is physically impossible to continuously like something. For decades on decades on decades on decades on that, de- it's impossible. Everything goes through a phase of where you you love it, it sucks, it's okay. You love it again, it sucks, you hate it. This is this is the this is the way life works. We're now the, in the we're now in the stage where we're hitting the the part where okay. No, see, but there's a difference between. It sucks because the ideas we're doing ain't working or we're trying and we're limited with the the, the ratings or whatever. There's a difference between that and it sucks because these lazy motherfuckers don't know shit and now they want a fucking medal for it. That's the problem. Yeah. If they tried, if if they tried, if if She-Hulk was a good show, it just had bad fucking CGI or they, they were limited with shit like this is the best we got. And this is this is what we're giving you. And it, despite that, it was like, yo, if you get past this, it's a pretty good show. No problem. If they said we only had enough budget for episodes one, two, and whenever the fuck Matt Murdock showed up, that would be one of the best shows Disney Plus ever did. But when they said this is going to be the longest series that we have with nine episodes, and they decided to give us the other six, it fucked up. All right. You still watch WWE, right? Yeah. 
when we learned Vince McMahon was rewriting shows 30 oh. seconds before they go on the air and all that, you still watched it, right? Yeah, and I'm still complaining, and I'm changing. Because if I sit in the back, nothing changes. Yeah, but what what happened? I am the voice for the voiceless. And nothing was heard, because Triple H came in, and to your word, did the exact same shit. No, no, no. He didn't do the exact same shit. He just was the face. Vince never left. Never left. So, okay. Never and left. I'm still sitting here. Where's Lay at? I'm still sitting here to this day telling you I was right. They never left. And I demand change. You think if you, I am the Martin Luther King of the wrestling and superhero movies fucking world. Okay. You're still watching. You can though. call me Toe Luther Tags Jr. But you're still watching. Because if I don't watch and demand change, nothing's gonna happen. If That's I don't sit here, if but I don't I... sit here and tell the truth, people are good, people like Kenny, people like this fucking guy here, this fucking guy here are gonna be fucking brainwashed. Yeah, but the truth of the matter is, there's a certain section of the population that actually like that show. Brainwashed, and I have the protect. They're, they're not brainwashed, bro. Listen, they just enjoy different seven, media than you do. The seven people that never seen TV before that first time watching this shit, they enjoyed it. They don't count. Dude, it's time to, like I said, it's time to be the adult, man. I am being the adult. I'm saving these fucking people from themselves. The only one that got the balls to say it. <clears throat> to their face. The only one that got the balls to say what? What I've been show saying. That no, that a show that we didn't agree with sucked. Like that, that. That what they're doing is garbage. But we know that. But they don't know that. And we need to keep telling them. But if you, it defeats the purpose if you keep watching the stuff they put. Yo, I have the game on. And I'm literally watching a panel that says we are on commercial break. I understand we're on commercial break because the game ain't on. But they're still telling me. So well, they need to understand that I'm still telling them until they change it. But you do know that that panel that says you're on a commercial break is not for the person, you, who's already watching. It's for the person who tunes in to see the game. So they go, oh, all right, I tuned in, then we're on a break. Yeah. And me saying this shit isn't for the people who don't like the show. It's for the people who wrote the fucking show and want us to be brainwashed. They, see, this is what they do, people. This is what they do. They fuck around. They say, oh, the value of the dollar's deteriorating. They were going to watch out. That was what I was saying in the, the Total Show Show. They were like, watch out. Watch out. Watch out for what? The fact that they're trying to watch this hand and they, they're letting us. They're trying to stray us away from the fucking facts. And I'm telling you right now. I will not be deterred. I will not be swayed. I will not be distracted. I am here to fight the fight, whether I'm the only one fighting the fight or there's there's an army behind me in both wrestling, movies, and in comics. Vote for me on, on November. Malcolm oh. Toe, that's right. Martin Luther Toe. Shit. And I'm I, the man. Yeah, while you're here fighting the fight, I'm here to tell. I'm here to put the perspective in and go. The shit you, the this shit is inconsequential. I why out? Yeah, she Hulk doesn't they mean shit around. to any to anything. They fucked around. That's what they did. <laughs> Sons of bitches. Watch out, Daquan. <laughs> Somebody comes in here with this shit. Tired of this shit. Tired of what? Being the only one that sit there. I'm right. And everybody wants to gang up on me because I'm fucking short. Shortism. But no one sees that. You could be anything you want in this world. You could be a refrigerator. You could be you could be a man, woman, and child in the same place. <laughs> but God forbid you're fucking short, bald or fat. God forbid. You try to be one of them motherfuckers. Nope. Well, 
Dude, they don't stand up for your rights there. They but, don't know the bullshit. I want to hit this. Is this is we, we remember back in the day? There's no black coaches. Now the black coaches. There's no black owners. Now the black owners. There's no short owners neither. How about well, nobody's fighting for us? You know why? Because the three things in your life you can change is how much hair you have, how much weight you have, and how tall you are. You just haven't done anything to change it. One eight hundred facts. Them. <laughs> Fuck them. I am who I am. You supposed to. You supposed to love me for me. Sons of bitches. Shit. So, hold on. Nah, you know what? Nah, I, this, this is not the point of the show. I'm not going to fucking... I'm, I'm going to take my own advice. I'm going to be the adult. And we're going to move on. What's the next? Fight right for our fucking rights. <clears throat> James Gunn. Son of a bitch. He's, he's in production, you said, for Superman? Yeah, he's, he's already written the... What do we call it? I don't know if it's the first draft of the script or the script script, but they're in pre-production right now. And they don't have an idea of who's going to be... Well, I mean, he probably has an idea, but they haven't told us. And this is going to be the first project of the new DC Universe? No. This is going to be James Gunn's Superman project. I think we had that list before with the hot, the Creature Commandos and Themyscira and all that. Okay, so that's the first... All right. Uh, yeah, that the, the low key first official shit for the new DC might be Blue Beetle, depending on how good that movie does. And who wrote Blue Beetle? Uh, I'll check right now. Is it if is that is that a Snyderverse Blue Beetle that they might adopt into the the Gunverse? No, dude, you saw the trailer. There's nothing about. There's no melancholy in there. That should look fun. No, nah, I hear you, but I'm just saying, is this that? So that's it, right? That's that's just a uh, DC movie that they said, "Fuck it, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it live." Yeah. But we're not expecting fucking uh the the chicks from from uh yeah. what the fuck is the the, the Justice Society or. Amanda Wallace people, we're not expecting them in this movie. Who the fuck knows? So, Gareth Donette Alcacer? I, I butchered the shit out of that name, but the only... Th- he's done a lot of Spanish uh, films. The only film that I see here that anybody might have known is Ms. Bala, which came out in 2019. And Nobody fucking went to go see that one. Who? Duquan said he wrote it. So wait, so this is a Spanish writer writing a Spanish movie. Well, Spanish character, yeah. But Ms. Bala, movie where they try to turn this actress into like a fucking John Wick. Oh, okay. Yeah, nobody. I pretend to be Hispanic when in my writings. Yeah, I bet you you pretend to be Hispanics when you're hollering at chicas too, right? That's how you sound. That's how you sound, Daquan. Don't fuck around, you know. Why do you, are you in are you in LA, Daquan? Like what the hell'd you go cholo? Because <laughs> that's that's how they think all Spanish people sound. Fuck around with that bullshit. Damn, I heard you through the fucking door. Or Somebody. The <laughs> Shit. So if this movie's good, it's going to be the official start of the James Gunn saga. I mean, it could be, it's, let me not say official start. It might be the unofficial. Like, they might be like, all right, that one we keep. Okay. Are they going to keep Shazam? Judging by the fact that Shazam failed worse than Black Adam did, probably not. (laughs) 
technically Suicide Squad is the start. Yeah, but that that movie failed. So yeah, see that movie sucked. Even though there's a demographic that liked it. No, we're talking about the second one, not the first one. Yeah, even that's what I'm saying. Oh, I'm gonna use the bathroom real quick. You go talk to Taquan about Suicide Squad and how he's full of shit. All right, anybody listening here? I don't know what the hell Toe's doing. I don't know why he refuses to look at things logically and the way they are. As they say on the, uh, as Gigi calls him on the wrestling podcast, he's emotional. And we just got to let him work through his issues. So, please, uh, as they do for all tragedies, send your thoughts and prayers. (laughs) Yeah, that's right. He's just saying shit. It's time to realize, like I was saying, man, it's time to realize that we got to move on from, we got to move on somewhere. They can't, 30 something movies, they can't all be, they weren't all hits then. They're not going to all be hits now. Do we want them all to be good? Yeah. But, you know, let's start being a little realistic. There's, they were, Maybe now that they're taking their time and that they're pushing everything back and they're, they're not doing such a rapid release date schedule, maybe now we can get a little bit more of the quality back. But Ch- uh, Bob Chappick was pushing that engine too much. And I think we lost, we lost the quality because he just wanted to churn out content after content after content. And you can't really do that shit. You just be saying shit to Quan. I be saying the facts. No, but I mean, yeah. I enjoy the fact that the shit was coming out twice a year. Because it gave me something to do. Because, God forbid, there's other movies that come out. (laughs) Like, there's no real... Other movies worth watching in the theaters back in those days. Maybe the the quality of movies coming out is now better, but I I, I never understood that. Never I can understand that. if they had one director or like three directors filming all these movies, and it's like, all right, it's too much. Now the director don't know what movies what, and all he's losing track. But there's literally separate teams doing it, dude. Yeah, there's separate teams, but. If I want 16 movies, if I want five movies to come out in a year, even if they're separate teams, you got to write a movie that at some point addresses this. You got to write a movie that at some point addresses that. I got to hire visual effects team that has to do all these movies. The visual effects take long as shit. Like... Thor, Love and Thunder has a floating head because the visual effects team didn't have enough time to put the rest of the body in. And then on Disney Plus, they went back and then fixed the floating head but still couldn't put the fucking body in. Well, that's only because Thor sucked. The the digital effects people saw the movie and they were like, yo, this shit is trash. I'm not putting the full body in there. They're like, it's bad enough we got to make Moliere jealous. Oh, the Stormbreaker was jealous. See? They didn't even know who they were making jealous. No, I agree with Taekwondo. It does feel like fucking homework now. It does feel like we just have to watch it. To It feels like we have to watch it in the hopes they mentioned the one thing from four movies ago. That nobody else has said yet. <laughs> He's saying we have to watch it because this movie might be on the quiz. Huh? <laughs> this movie might be on the quiz. Yeah. So we got to watch it. Because <laughs> yeah. the, the one time you don't watch the movie, that's when everybody's going to be like, yo, they finally explained why what happened with the fucking hand out in the middle of the ocean. And you're like, fuck. 
the one thing I've been now now I gotta go fucking see the goddamn thing and now people spoil it and you're like god damn right. it no. the Iron Man is in here think of how pissed you would have been had you have, what do you call it had you have been spoiled on the fact that Black Bolt dies in the dumbest way possible yeah that was the only have to go watch it like <laughs> Mm-hmm. This is what people. This is why you people think I just talk shit. But and we go into fucking multiverse of madness. Everybody got a problem with that. Everybody, like, get, yo, it, I get it. Yo, it's not. I I don't believe that they said you have twenty minutes to come up with a movie, or I'm killing you all. And then they go, here goes your movie. No one reads it and goes. You now have six days to shoot the entire fucking movie. And then, boom, here you go. And then they go up to the digital effects. You have 18 hours. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I want to pause the question here. If they just called that movie Doctor Strange 3, would you still have a problem with it? Because to be, to be 100% honest... I don't think I would have. My only problem is you called it Multiverse of Madness. And it wasn't that. Well, also the motivation for Wanda. Yeah, they reverted that shit. But I would have less of a problem with it. If you didn't call it that. So... Like that's that's why Doctor Strange is higher on my list than Thor Love and Thunder. Thor Love and Thunder just flat out was dumb. Except for Christian Bale. Christian Bale was saving Grace. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Christian even Christian Bale was a little off because his best scene was he just said, Fuck it, I'm gonna be Heath Ledger today. <laughs> and <laughs> he was the Joker we needed. Yeah. But multiverse of madness. It didn't deliver on the on the fucking premise that we all thought the movie was gonna have. Change the title and watch that movie. Movie's not bad. Wanda scary as shit. Strange is good. Like Wanda took out the fucking Illuminati from a different world. That would have been fucking insane. Yeah, I although, think. Although, to if we're doing the whole little nitpick thing, one, why the fuck did Black Bolt say anything if his mouth was closed? Yeah. Two, why would Reed Richards say anything that would allude to how this motherfucker works? Three, how the fuck did their Captain Marvel, who's by fucking ultra binary? In her fucking form, she did the whole globe shit. How did she just got crushed by a fucking boulder, like a statue? Yeah. Like the only one who had a legit, real fucking oh shit death was Captain Carter. Yeah, because I mean, yeah. she could have moved out of the way of this, the shield and that shit split her in half. Everyone else. Even even fucking Professor X. Man, she has when she goes fucking that's her binary form, I think they call that. When she Yeah, not everything's about a fucking pronoun. <laughs> well pronouns are ultra binary. <laughs> Shit. No, but yeah, no, but and then you don't send a magician to go after the witch. <laughs> well, dude. That that version of Bear Morta was a bitch. Which one wasn't? Huh? All of them were. Because in 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 Doctor Strange one, all Bear Morta did was it doesn't deserve the power. It threatened me. You don't deserve the power. It, just so everybody can, we're on the same page. Oh, shit, let me turn on the brightness. Hold on. 
or binary form. That's what I'm talking about. For Miss Marvel. Captain. Captain Miss Marvel. No, just Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel. Carol Danvers. Well, this one was uh it wasn't Carol Danvers in that in that multiverse. No, that was Monica no. Rambo, but yeah. Same thing. Was it Monica? Because that didn't look like the Monica that was in this one. It was her mom. Okay. From the first movie. Which I think they, I actually think they called her something different. Fuck, now I gotta. Taekwon, you know. Word. Fuck around. Find out. Maria Rambo. Ah, see? There you go, Taquan sitting in. I said yeah. it first and didn't even need to look it up. Yeah, you you're late. Yeah. You failed. Yeah. Now we'll never trust you again, Copycat. I want all your test scores in college fucking looked at again. I want a recount. Motherfucker. Trying to go in for astrophysicists. Your afro don't need no physicisms. Shit. But is that that's pretty much it, right? That's we got no other yeah, no hit, other movies. Yeah, we, we hit all everything them. we wanted to talk about. Yeah. I guess and we could we, call it and we didn't okay. we didn't start an argument. Word, because it was show's fucking fault. Oh, one last thing. Just a little preview. At some point. If this ever happens again, where it's only the two of us, and we there's no topic, we did the D and D thing already. But this here is a new game that I got. Uh, it's from the same people who who do the Critical Role shit that I watch. Critical Role, yeah. Uh, to the last gasp, it is a similar game to D and D, where it's a role playing game, but this is actually a duel. Where me and Toe be going head to head in a dice rolling battle with different shit and different prompts to make it more like a dramatic fight scene. So that's one possibility of things we can do on a day where it's just the two of us and we got nothing to talk about. Word. There you go. All right. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, the Quan Ray. Leon, Kenny, you son of a bitch, normal guy, everybody that, that that showed up in the chat, everybody that watched along the way, and everybody that's going to be listening on the Spotify and all the other shit that you listen to with both years. Appreciate y'all being here. It's your friendly, friendly neighborhood knucklehead signing out. Peace, everybody. Stop fucking around. You know I'm right.